Morning, Tangavelu. Oh, morning. How are you? Oh, fine. How are you, Shekhar? Very good, thank you. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Uh, uh, do it, please. Yeah. I just want to give a background, my background. I'm from Coimbatore and uh, I studied in St. Michael's High School up to high school and then uh, when joined PSG Arts College in Coimbatore uh, pre for pre-university. I finished that in 59 and uh, I had not heard about IIT until almost uh, the March of that year. Uh, my uncle, he subscribes to Hindu newspaper and he found out there was a news article about IIT. So he asked me to apply as soon as my exams were over. Uh, so I had applied for both the engineering college uh, in Madras state. There, are, there were probably about six engineering colleges. It was a common selection process and I attended the selection committee interviews and it was uh, three professors who were individually uh, 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 interviewing the candidates, unlike the IIT interview which was a big affair. So there I, you know, Professor G.R. Damodaran was the principal of uh, PhD College of Technology and uh, since I studied in PhD Arts College, he knew that it had a reasonably good rank. So he said, you don't have to worry, you can join. Uh, and we'll be sending you the admission letter. So I got the admission letter and I, was, I would have paid the fees on maybe in uh, something like uh, Ju June first week or something. But uh, just the day before that, I got the letter from IIT saying that I've been selected. Now, I, you know, when I came to the IIT interview, it was a, a little uh, overwhelming affair for me because there were a number of professors. There were about six or seven professors. There were two German. I d remember Professor uh, Koch, the pro physics professor, and probably Dr. Hahn. And there were other Indian uh, dignitaries, maybe uh, I think people mentioned Srikant, who was the advisor, and there were uh, Professor Venkateshwarlu was there. I don't know, there might have been two more professors. They asked a tough question, I hope I answered them reasonably. So, but I was not sure about the outcome of the interview. So, uh, just I mentioned, just before I was about to join PhD College of Technology, I got the admission letter and I got admitted into mechanical engineering. And uh, so I came to IIT. Uh, in, uh, I think as uh, some of these write-ups say, on Ju July 20th, the colleges were open. Uh, I think I joined the Saidapet Hostel. And the, ins the classes started on July 22nd and we had our classes in AC College of Technology and it was a big auditorium, you know, that was a uh, lecture hall which was used for some of the lectures and there were probably, there was one other lecture hall in AC College also. And uh, uh, Professor A.L. Krishnan, I, I think I have the list of professors who taught in the first year. Uh, professor A.L. Krishnan was the humanities professor. I think uh, Srinivasan and Amadachari and Mahadevan have uh, described a lot about Professor A.L. Krishnan, so I'll skip that. Uh, professor Srinivasan was uh, taking the maths classes and Ramashastri physics and uh, Professor Srinivasan was chemistry and for some of the assistant professors were taking the chemistry lab and things like that. And uh, there was a drawing class. Uh, again, it was handled by Professor Shear. And he come, came occasionally, but uh, uh, assistant professor Srinivasan and Padmanabhan, they were the ones who were there constantly guiding us. Uh, we spent a lot of time lettering 
uh, the uh, alphabetic letters and then we moved on to some lines and rectangles and then geometrical shapes in the first year. In second year probably we had more intersection of solids and cutout sections and things like that. Uh, and the right hand side view, I think we followed, I'm not sure whether uh, we followed the German system for drawing. Definitely it was against the American system. The American system, the projection was on the other side. So, so that's, that's one difference. Uh, so in the, so we had, uh, you know, the hostels were, uh, two people were in a room in Saidapetla hostel. Uh, my roommate was uh, Ishwaran. He's also from Coimbatore. He later on uh, became, studied in IIT and became an electrical engineering professor uh, in the electrical engineering department. The uh, food was very good. It was a uh, vegetarian food. Uh, the Professor Venteshwarlu was the hard hostel warden. To me, he was very kind and everything, and it ran very well. Uh, I think the food was a uh, little excessive, but uh, it was very good in the sense that some of the weeks we had to spend, uh, you know, good part of the day in the uh, workshop. So we used to get hungry. So it was a, it was a, we were able to somehow manage with that very good food. And uh, uh, the labs were in AC College to the best I can remember uh, for the physics and chemistry labs. Now the workshop was in Gindi Engineering College. Uh, the uh, the filing and the or fitting and the second, the carpentry in the second semester. So that's how I remember. Now I'll turn it over to Shaker for his first year. Thank you, Dr. Velu. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, <coughs> we had a, bit, a lot of difference between your batch and my batch. In the sense, we came naturally one year behind you. But we were the first people to enter the, the campus itself. We were the first people and then we had to establish ourselves and make the life easy for other people also. <laughs> so uh, anyway, let me first of all introduce myself. My name is Venkatraman Shekhar, roll number 1.106 by 60, mechanical engineer graduate. And uh, I am from Orissa, uh, Bakley. Actually, uh, Orissa is a place called Brahmapur. Earlier it was Berhampur, Ganjam was the place. Now, the Berhampur Ganjam is very uh, important because those days Britishers had their headquarters very near Berhampur actually. They had established a headquarters there actually. Then uh, also Berhampur is very close to the Gopalpur on Sea Beach. The Gopalpur on Sea Beach became popular because of this Oberai started the, the first construction, their first hostel, the five star hotel <coughs> there actually. And uh, so, Berhampur was already always the map. And uh, all this Howrah mail and whatever mail has to stop at Berhampur. And Berhampur, you may ask, you are a South Indian, how did you go to Berhampur all the way? Actually, uh, Berhampur is a part of Orissa or originally. The Orissa and Andhra Pradesh and uh, uh, Tamil Nadu, all these were in one contiguous, uh, it is called uh, the undivided Madras uh, presidency. presidency. So naturally, people could go to the any extreme of the city and then they had it actually. And uh, my father uh, took a job with the, uh, this in Berhampur under this uh, uh, Kalikot College. The Kalikot College was run by Maharaja of Kalikot. And uh, there uh, he had a col college for this pri private college actually. It was not affiliated to any government or anything. But it came under the Utkal University, Orissa. So uh, I continued my, I was born in Orissa. I was born in Berhampur as per my passport and everything. And uh, I, we grew up there and we learned everything in Telugu medium because my father found it convenient. He speaks very good Telugu. So he said, I can coach you at home. Otherwise, if you start learning Oriya, I can't teach you much. So we all, and all the five of us siblings, we all went into Telugu uh, medium. So uh, that Telugu medium, uh, it's a uh, quite rich in language and also uh, almost similar to Sanskrit. 
because same number of letters and same number of the words are all mostly Sanskritized actually. And uh, there uh, we I went on up to this uh, high school level, the higher secondary, the, uh, the so called Calicode Collegiate High School, they offered the uh, matriculation class also, those days called matriculation. <coughs> After that uh, we went to the same affiliated college, Calicode College and uh, that there I went to PUC, Pre-University Science. Till that time we were all uh, town boys and uh, we had our town card of life. I mean we did not have uh, so much of sophistication as a, a city bred or uh, somewhere uh, closer to Madras for example. We were quite far away and uh, whatever information we used <coughs> to get, we used to get only through newspapers and magazines and uh, occasional passing on, on the, even in this independent India. There was uh, no telephone, no cell phone, no television, nothing of that sort. And you may be wondering how I got the information about this IIT. Till I got really hooked on to this IIT uh, business, I was just uh, planning to do some commerce and other subjects and some other technical course etc. at my uh, level of understanding actually. Ultimately what happened, my father, he was working in the Calcode College as uh, the head of the department physics and then he became uh, vice principal of the college. He had uh, so many students the physics department and those boys, uh, they were uh, coming frequently talking to my father and all that. Then they also saw me, they knew me before. They said he has finished his uh, now PUC, uh, why do not you put him on IIT? They said where is IIT? He himself did not know <laughs> because IIT was only being bandied about but nothing was known about IIT in Benampur actually. Then uh, ultimately he got, because he had a form, application form for IIT, the 5 year course actually. But he was already in the BSc line, the second or third year he was doing. And that gentleman is uh, Sarat Chandra Mishra, who is also our classmate. He came in, joined uh, IIT Madras later. So he said, take my application and do, do something. Then uh, my father said, you see, uh, the application is already there, come on. And then I started processing and then I also had a good marks in Orissa. And so um, uh, through that, uh, the application got filled and was registered post and uh, came to IIT Madras and I got an acknowledgement also that everything is okay. Then suddenly we got a letter in the month of I think March saying that uh, please attend an interview at uh, the central that is in CLRI Chennai and uh, please bring all these original certificates and uh, also some draft or something like that for payment. Then immediately we got hold of a uh, ticket and then I came all alone, nobody came accompanying me. I was just only 5, 15 years at that age actually. I had come to Madras several times with my parents, but alone it was a long trip, six, about 1000, 1200 kilometers it was. But anyway, I enjoyed it. And uh, after landing in Chennai, I knew Tamil, so I could um, easily manage myself and I could find the way to my Perambur, where my aunt was staying. Okay. Otherwise, Perambur was a new place for me. Everything like, you know, Madras itself was a new place for me. And then I managed it. Then the next day, the, the interview was here. And all those days, this communication was purely on postcards and telegrams, nothing more. We had no cell phone, no SMSs, nothing of that sort. But still they worked very well. And uh, in the interview uh, at the CLRI, the appointed time, uh, there are I think some uh, Orissa, they had called that day particularly, the people. Because uh, this, those days we did not have this uh, uh, joint entrance exams and all that. They were calling people based on the ranks and marks they obtained in the respective states and based on the quota. They must have allocated some quota because some 150 five branches 30 boys each so 150 it makes for 150 yeah i think in in my case they said there was an allocation by district even mm -hmm. uh, Coimbatore district had two mm -hmm. and madurai had some similar number maybe chennai had more mm -hmm. uh, that that's how i remember so there were totally i don't know how many students from chennai uh, tamil nadu even i don't know Actually, so uh, this uh, system was already there actually, this quota system was already there. So the day of I, my interview, uh, about 5-6 people were there from Orissa, all were there. And then other states also were there. And uh, people were just going and coming out, all happy. <laughs> so, so we had the interview in the CLRI, in the interview, we had uh, Dr. Koch, then uh, Dr. Han, then uh, R. Natarajan IAS. <coughs> and uh, Dr. I mean, uh, Sri, Sri Ramasastri, or head of the uh, professor of physics, 
these people were there on the uh, panel actually. So, my job was uh, I think I had totally about some 10 questions out of which about 4 of them were about progressions, mathematical progressions, arithmetic progressions. What you will get after this without paperwork, just only imagine and say what it is. That was one. Second thing was something to do with the metallurgy, which is malleable, lead or bronze or what, something like that. They gave all these things and said, What is this? Tell me what is the material. I said, This could be this, this could be a practical experience, some knowledge was there. That was one. Then some questions were there asked about some formulae. So, they read down some, uh, wrote down some chemical equations and they asked, What is the uh, product for this one and the what happens? So, that was also successful because I was a good chemistry student also myself. Then there was uh, an English, most of us because the people coming from town they may not be very fluent with English and all that. So, they were only just examining whether your response is good, your comprehension is correct, whether you are answering to the point or digressing and then asking again what did you say sir, please tell it, repeat please sir, that kind of thing they were watching actually. <coughs> <coughs> I think it may be all right if the German professor asks something to ask one more time, I think. That's right. Yeah. But we have, uh, I had no difficulty because they were yeah. also trying to make it as comfortable as possible. Yeah, right. Just particularly Dr. Koch was such a nice person, very honest, yeah, very happy nice. person and very, uh, I mean, smiling. smiling. Yeah. We have seen him in the physics laboratory here yeah. when he demonstrates all those simple, or simple harmonic motion, ballistic yeah, missiles, yeah. Or what not. Yeah. A lot of experience very, we had here. Yeah. So, um, he is a very friendly and then Han could be somewhat uh, very uh, serious. serious looking, but he is not really serious. <laughs> he only just wants to see what we are doing. Natarajan always smiling, yeah. he does all sort of you know somebody is required for support inside, we do not know where you are. Then Ramasastriji also was very uh, cooperative and uh, the interview went off very well, I was very happy with that. Came out and uh, within I think couple of hours there was a notice on the outside saying that uh, you please all report uh, to the college on so and so date with your draft for the payments or initial payment of school college fees. So, and did he have to go back and come back? No, no, we were sitting and watching. No information. We, we got the information in the uh, oh, no. after a couple of hours itself. Oh, wonderful. Yes, very, very prompt because they knew that this uh, to and froing. Yeah, it didn't happen that problem. way for us. No, for me, it was very yeah, clear. Right, okay. immediately uh, not immediate means not across the table. They had a, uh, this thing and then printed out and then put that on the board there. Oh, okay, there. wonderful. So, okay, I, uh, not, there was nobody, all are fresh and everybody you knew, I do not know whom to call what. I, the names right. also were unknown to us. Right, right. And uh, with me, Amitabh Patnaik was there, the Amitabh Patnaik who died recently oh, okay. in the US. I think you must have read about that. Right. Our classmate was there. Okay. And, uh, uh, so other people also were there, brand new, we never had met before all this. Then after the uh, interview, the next day I took the train and came back home, got ready and then the date was already fixed, this July 20th or something this, reopening was there. Okay. So, uh, for that uh, we started preparing, getting a hold all, steel trunk, <laughs> painting, the names yeah, and yeah, yeah. all those. So, that was as a boy. I was also, uh, they had fixed I think age 16 as the minimum for this first year admission, that was the standard. But then I was not completing that, that is why I was a little worried. I was just only 15 and a half, 15 yeah, years same and thing half, with uh, me. So, I think same they must have me. given some allowance, otherwise yeah, I was a yeah. little apprehensive because it could go anyway, you could say you are underage and uh, underage by 6 months I think they tolerate most probably. So, yeah, it right, was tolerated right, right. in my case. And then uh, after all these uh, things were over, I just came back home, settled down and waited for the next trip to Chennai. Okay. So, after the Chennai, I think we will start with the next episode. You can also uh, tell me what happened to you after you landed in Chennai. So, you start. No, uh, my uncle uh, was finishing up his BSc. So, I stayed with him the, the one night. And I went to the hostel the following day, June, July 20th, and that that part is. One thing, one small thing, I just want to say. Uh, maybe it may not be significant to other students, but they had arranged. So, Professor Venkatesh Pillu had arranged a lecture by Swami Chinmayananda in the Kaveri hostel. So that was uh, maybe just one year after we joined. That was very significant to me. I did not understand what Swamiji was saying, but to see that uh, person 
uh, to see the Swamiji in person was something for me. I think uh, both Shekhar and myself, we go to Vedanta lectures and things. Superannuation, so. both of us are on the same boat. Yeah. Uh, actually, so in my case, what happened uh, after I landed here in uh, Chennai, the same Perambur auntie was still there and at the same address. It was not difficult for me. I took a train, local train all the okay. way. And it was then a hand rickshaw, hand car, reached home safely. She said, how did you come suddenly without uh, information? I said, I am just, just don't worry about that. Then uh, afterwards, next day, uh, uh, we started moving to IIT Madras campus. Then uh, I, I, I understood that many people who were coming to Chennai by train were directly taken by the, the police van was there. The police van was being frequently used for transporting people from the hostel to oh. AC College of Technology those days. Oh, wow. so there was no other mode, there was no bus, no road, no, 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 yes, yes. except those heavy duty trucks, yes. people standing with one hand like this, another hand like this, books. So that kind of situation was there and uh, anyway we took uh, somehow uh, some taxi, uh, auto rickshaw or something we made and then came to IIT campus. Okay. Then uh, after entering the campus, uh, uh, they allotted me a room with another friend of uh, this thing. This friend uh, I came to know when my auntie uh, went for a shopping spree in Perambur. Okay. She said, my son has got admission. What about, this? my son also has come from uh, Orissa for admission. Okay, why don't we, they, why don't they become partners? I mean, uh, stay in one room. Okay. And that friend is nobody other than our Radha Krishnan here. Yes, Radha Krishnan. Professor Radha Krishnan is there, no? Mechanic, this thermodynamics. Uh, uh, mechanics, applied mechanics. So he was my roommate. Okay. So we were in Taramani hostel. Okay. In Taramani hostel and uh, it was only a single storied construction and all were accommodated there, all okay. the first year batches. Okay. And uh, it was absolutely, uh, it's still under construction. You could okay. see all those uh, tanks with full of bricks and <laughs> all kinds of uh, cement bags, this and all strewn all over, except oh. your mess was uh, you could easily find the way to your mess and then you can okay. be in there. The water was not a problem, fortunately. It okay. was not a difficult thing. And uh, the hostel was a very important place for all of us because we could exchange. But as usual, you know, uh, we had a spectrum starting from Kashmir to Kanyakumari and from Gujarat to Assam. All boys were there. And different boys had a different uh, behavioral patterns that we could easily see it actually, how they were behaving. And some of them had very strong egos, some of them had very friendly and uh, these things continued, this, this kind of friendship continued. Particularly, <laughs> I was um, uh, wondering because I was uh, having too many Telugu friends <coughs> because of my flu fluency in Telugu. They thought I am a Telugu guy basically, so they ostracized. <laughs> Very obvious, it was from the Chennai Wallas. It was, um, I don't know why they had to behave like that. They said, um, yeah. no, no, this man is different. I said, my name is Venkatram Shekhar, don't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have to say that, but uh, so anyway, uh, this continued. Then uh, there was one uh, session there, the, uh, this thing itself, mixing all the people, etc. We used to meet, of course, in the yeah. uh, mess regularly. Okay. Then, uh, as you said already, our uh, classes were held in AC College of Technology and uh, workshops were in Gindi Engineering College. The two workshops were there, fitting shops were there. Then our carpentry shop was in uh, high, thing, Highway Research Institute there. And uh, CLRI we had visited only for paying our mess bills, that's all. Nothing more than that. Then uh, this library also was there in this, uh, AC College of Technology upstairs. Chemistry lab, physics lab, all were in uh, AC College of Technology. Yeah. And uh, the groups, you know, alternate weeks you go for workshop and uh, and the like that the people had to be accommodated, otherwise classrooms won't be sufficient for all the people. Yeah. Yeah. And the auditorium in uh, AC College of Technology was partly used for our classes also because it had to accommodate so many yeah. uh, people at a time. Yeah. At least 60 had to be accommodated at a time. So naturally. Yes. Uh, they had to use this auditorium for that purpose actually. Yeah. Also, the, I, I don't know whether in the, even though there were, you know, that we had alternate weeks, mm -hmm. Professor for English, Yale Krishnan, I think handled the whole batch together. Yes. The, uh, maybe I don't know whether yes, it yes. was no, similar to For us also that. it was like that. Yeah. 
but then uh, by the time uh, a mr al krishnan when he professor al krishnan when he came to uh, this thing we were already there in the campus okay so these buildings were almost uh, nearing completion okay the what you call this uh, present uh, the humanities and sciences block okay we used to call that a civil engineering building right right right, right, right. so, civil so that was in the second semester that was in the second semester okay. we were already working okay. in this place actually so the hall the classrooms were there then the uh, what you call lecture huge lecture halls yeah, were there right. and labs physics lab were there then uh, yeah. library also all got shifted by 1961 second half we were completely inside the campus okay and the most of all the people are shifted even the workshops got shifted to inside the yeah. we didn't have to go to gandhi engineering college anymore right? yeah I want to say one or two things i think uh, you know see the timeline is like up to uh, 5960 the second uh, year started in 1960 say june or july june to probably that december we had classes in ac college yes. and then uh, for maybe january of 1961 we started having classes in the main campus we were still in saidapet hostel so we used to come up to the iit gate and from there we used to be uh, transported in open lorries for two weeks <laughs> two two months or something after that they arranged bikes for us so i think as a uh, shaker was saying we were, uh, we were uh, sharing the classes in that uh, either at that time it was a civil engineering building maybe they called it hsb yes. block or the something humanities and sciences block sciences block so that, uh, that, had, had, that was the only building available to us right, that right, time, right. other building this electrical engineering department was getting ready actually getting ready once electrical engineering was ready uh, it became it accommodated something more actually right then uh, slowly uh, mechanical engineering was mechanical also. engineering in fact the workshops were also getting used for right. our entertainment the oh. nights Oh, okay <laughs> believe it or not wow. we used to saturday we had the movies no saturday right, evening right, movies right right we used to have this uh, productions in the workshop there oh. at that time oat not on the oat no, no, no. oat came uh, much later actually oat was not ready the oh you had uh, is, uh, film uh, films are shown even in 1961 january to yes, april in okay the workshop. okay we, 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 we didn't all know all the way we trekked all the way back uh, this thing because we were inside the campus it was oh. necessary for us to have a bike yes at least a um, cycle must be there to go around move around and all because you can't walk all the distance yeah, right so we people decided to get all our bicycles as soon as possible from homes or wherever it is we got them and then we started using them because without a bicycle to trek such a long distance was very very difficult actually so we got all of us nearly everybody had a bicycle of his own and uh, some people Uh, felt like you know walking and then ar- around this time only these buses started entering the picture yes these various buses you know the name yeah. left to the mountains and all those things yeah. in our country yeah. the holy mountains kanchenjunga nanga yeah. parbat right. etc etc and they used to come these buses because those days there were no roads that's why they couldn't ply on the this um, muddy roads actually so after the roads were laid in this bon avenue uh, the buses could go and then they went up to adya Yes, yeah. I remember using them. Actually. It was and very easy, so people just could get down. Yeah. But now they have stopped it with the gate itself because right. the traffic has become so much. The buses can't. Right. And the buses were very old, long buses. They were not short. This mini buses actually. Yeah. So uh, now the mini buses are plenty here. Yeah. They were long buses, so you have to whether it is one person or two, you have to sit there. Then some other boys were very enterprising. They took their bikes went to Gindi railway station. Yes. Park their bikes there. and then uh, went around the city do whatever is and particularly saturdays and sundays actually yeah and uh, returned like that and some people particularly the people from north india they were used to some other habits actually so they decided to go to pondicherry pondicherry is a very nice place to be in actually yeah. so they went believe it or not there all all kinds of people were there we had completely a spectrum because yeah. different parts of the country had different uh, types of uh, backgrounds actually so they got different types of habits so yeah. you just can't uh, wish it away that no no all should be only swami chinnan and das bhaktas <laughs> it can't be it was impossible actually right. so they used to go there regularly yeah and come back 
and uh, like this and then all used to get again start the monday it starts and it continuously goes we had another uh, system over there that is uh, the chinese aggression all those things were just waiting to happen there oh. so some of the country i think sensed it they said uh, we should give more uh, force on the fitness of the boys not only studies studies always actually so the, the fitness they said nccr was national cadet corps rifles was one co one co uh, core which was started here and another was the national service society or social service campaign or something they made it compulsory yeah, that's why people had to go and get some marks for that otherwise they, again that will be also evaluated right okay. so so i felt uh, nccr is good and then i went around okay. nccr is not an easy job because first of all you must have good uniform you must have shining shoes <laughs> like that additional bottles yeah, are there yeah. so you have to go get it pressed somewhere so we were fully occupied and we never could think of any sports or going out for our own uh, trips except maybe some movies on sundays to some place actually like that so uh, that also uh, brought us all very close the nccr because we had so yeah. many some five six platoons were there yeah so i think professor raidu was uh, yes. involved in that yeah professor raidu was right. the uh, chief the, he was lieutenant and then yeah, he right. became captain right then professor yes. radhakrishnan was there okay Sri then prithviraj also the, was there much later srinivas and uh, the physical instructor oh. i think he physical uh, i mean uh, sports instructor he was also involved i'm, I'm not sure i know he was not involved in the ncc proper okay. he was not in the ncc he was uh, completely in the uh sports you was sports, looking at right. sports because that itself was a huge affair yeah. because we had two tennis courts one yeah. basketball court yeah, right. and uh and the big uh, this you know, a cricket ground was there cricket was, yeah. uh, all those things were there so he was fully in charge at that time when we were all in the first and second years this was present water water tank is there no red water storage no red water tank is there near the entry to the hostels the <coughs> the road from that point to velachery road okay absolutely open there was no barrier anywhere you could just walk across there was no uh, this thing also fence also fence came much later so there was an open area on that side on the western side on the eastern side from our taramani house where the uh, married uh, post graduate people are all staying post graduates were given a hostel there right 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 to the the, the msc msc students msc, MSC all the post graduate people yeah yeah right right and uh, the single people they were all accommodated I mean, yeah i i saw that uh, there were about 15 uh, um, msc graduates who graduated with us yes. with the first batch maybe it's slightly yes, more yes. for your batch also one achuta was there in bangalore we still continue to he did this uh, something in msc physics or i don't know what it is he did it and then uh, he was also of, uh, from our batch only okay. we graduated together so from that point taramani house to old mahabalipuram road there was nothing in between it was one one long patch of uh, this thing uh, field actually right right except except some um, tiled houses here and there yeah so as a result okay. Uh, okay. what happened okay we had um, ncc and all those you know we could just do anything crawling anywhere going outside anywhere and come back and all that so there was completely a uh, beautiful sunshine you can see beautiful sunrise you could see from this thing on the elliot's beach okay you could see from our uh, okay. uh, hostel itself okay it was a beautiful sight and fresh air plenty of fresh air but then slowly when all these uh, next this uh, other hostels came near narmada and others yeah. we occupied uh, this thing visibility was there that, and more buildings started coming in Okay. And the traffic became more and more. Okay. This Gajendra Circle was yeah. in a very rudimentary form when we came into the because right. they had to arrange some traffic. Right, there right. was nothing there except a stone sort of thing. Then later on, they put some elephant and uh, statue okay. there. And then uh, one thing, Shikhar, mm -hmm. uh, the there was a, in in the discussion in the other uh, group by Srinivas and Mahadevan and Amlachari. you know the, the grading system in the first year mm. for mm. us only had just a b c d maybe f yes but for you was it like that in the first year yes. or did they introduce s no. i brought my certificates here to show okay the second yes. second year onwards yeah. they used s yes for us yes. for some subjects we had a s already there in the first year in itself the first year itself Yes, okay we didn't have that yeah. See, only in the second year they started putting no, yes is already there okay. yes yes a b c d okay. f was there okay 
Was it S A plus was there? These things came in. This uh, supplement, this uh, suffixes, you know, <coughs> S plus, S minus, and all that. Ah. B plus, B minus, and all that. They came. They were given. They were also given, but then uh, just only to indicate which whether this side five marks or that side five marks. The median point is B. This side five or that side five. Just yeah. only to indicate that yeah, where right, right. we are actually. Then only for yeah. that point. Yeah. Actually, the 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 administration kept all the marks, hmm. but we saw only the grade. Together. So and, the, and there was another question. I'm sorry. Whether it was a semester-based system or an annual, we got grade sheets only for the whole year. Yes. So the, we might have had pre, we we had periodic system. So we had periodic tests. We had some surprise tests also. But the, maybe the December exam might have had slightly more weight. I don't know. But the final exam definitely had probably more weight for the overall grade. So that that was one point which was there. We had also. Uh, if I may just join yes, you. Yes. Yeah. There is, uh, we have some pictures in which Mr. Srinivasan you mentioned has been identified. Mm. Uh -huh. the PTA oh, yes. So can you see whether you uh, recognize him or uh, can you tell us anything about the pictures? This what I'm saying you made it out here. This is, a, is this is Lakshman Swami Mudliya. Lakshman Swami Mudliya. Yes. yes. Is that Patudi? Yes, yeah, is no, it Patudi? I can tell you. This is, oh, sorry. 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 <coughs> The left extreme, uh, I think there was Sangavelu? No, no. Yeah. Uh, that's Alim. That is Alim. Yeah, Alim. Alim, Alim. And this is, uh, the, I think, sports gentleman. Patudi? Or, or, or sports master. Oh, oh. oh Srinivasan. Srinivasan. Okay. And, and this is Dr. This, this, this is Dr. Swami Mumbalia. All right. So these are the uh, people, actually. This is, this I, ah, this. He's a Maharashtrian guy. I remember now, he's my classmate. Okay. He's Maharashtrian is, uh, some name is there. I forget the name. He is a Maharashtra. Okay. My classmate actually. Okay. He is a good sprinter. <coughs> so he is there and then that is Alim. Alim okay. is no more there actually. Yeah, I know. I, 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 used to, he, I used to be in Stamford. Hmm. I used to meet him there hmm. in Connecticut in the US. Uh, he passed away. He passed away. Uh, some time uh, after. Actually, no, he was, they, they are the two sportsmen. Yeah. Uh, avid sportsmen. And then particularly this, I forget the name. Jav, uh, some Javadekar or some uh, Maharshian actually. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, this is the thing, and then uh, most of this, this I cannot recognize. This I cannot recognize. No. These, I feel, uh, they are all from later batches actually. <coughs> that is Sampath, Professor Sampath. Ah, yes, yes. Professor, yes. This is actually uh, Stahl, uh, Professor Stahl, I don't know. Because we had a. Uh, it could Buddha be. Stahl was there. Be, yeah. He was yeah. our IC engines. IC engines, uh, okay. He taught you. He, uh, he taught us. Uh, 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 Narayana Murthy didn't teach. Narayana Murthy was there. Yeah. Because I think Narayana both Murthi, of them taught, yes, uh, probably. Them, then uh, because Narayana Murthy was there, uh, he didn't come in. Okay. He was uh, co confined to his uh, this, uh, this workshop there, actually. Okay. Uh, this uh, requires com communication. Uh, communication is also required, no? Yeah. Particularly, IC engines is such a tricky subject. So yeah, has to be very clear about it. Concepts. Yeah. Then here, this is Ram Sastri, Professor Ram Sastri, Bhakta Vatslam. and uh, this is right is Bhakta Vatslam, yeah. Chief Minister. And uh, is that Anand Raman left on the left? Okay, okay. Uh, uh, maybe uh, econ in the humanities, economics, Professor. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. And this is N. Gupta, yeah, right, yeah. Okay. <coughs> so, uh, you know, w one thing is, mm -hmm. did you have any different professors for yes. first year? I'll just uh, read out, I got a list here actually, subject wise, I'll just give you. So that I don't miss them. They are all very important teachers for us 
who made us yeah. into human Sorry. beings. <laughs> yeah. uh, let me start with mathematics. Okay. Professor Wolfgang Hahn. Okay. Hahn, Hahn was there. Yeah. Then S. K. Srinivasan. Yeah. Right. C. S. Srivastava. T. S. Subramaniam. All these are maths teachers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then, okay. You, you went that way. Okay. Yeah. Because, yeah it is. It's easier that way because yeah. they, they, you know, for three years. Han and uh, Srinivasan taught and then yes. uh, Srivastava took, Sri okay. took over. And then, then uh, finally Wolf, Subramanyam. Finally Subramanyam was, was there. Was there. Was there. there were two T.S. Subramanyams. Okay. One senior and, and one was wearing heavy glasses. Heavy right? glasses. Heavy the glasses, one yeah. heavy glasses. Then uh, both of them I think they became professors here and then uh, they retired like that actually. Okay. T.S. Sub, Subramanyam also was there. I remember, I remember something. I understand that he is also distinctly connected to me. I don't know how. Okay. My, my mother-in-law told me. <laughs> okay. He T.S. Subramanian, do you know? I said, yes, I know he is my guru. How can I He is also connected to you. I said, why did you say I'm so late? I asked her. <laughs> okay. Then next one. Wolfgang Koch. Uh-huh. Sri Ramasastri. For S. Srinivasan. Then S. Srinivasan. There is another Srinivasan. Two Srinivasans. One is Professor Srinivasan. Yeah. Who is now in Thiruvannamur actually? Okay. Then this yes, Srinivasan. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Srinivasan, I, I remember. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then that uh, Bhima Shastri, Satya Narayana. This is for second year. Yeah. No, Bhima Shastri and uh, Satya Narayana. They yeah, are. Are you in first year or are you? First, oh, and, first and second year. Oh, okay. Okay. Gotcha. Because okay. they were overlapping. You know, it's not okay. completely finished because we had some laps here and there also. Okay. So right. this uh, Srinivasan, Bhima Shastri, Satya Narayana, these people were all uh, our uh, tutorials. Okay. They were also yeah, in charge yeah. of the yeah. tutorials. Yeah. I forgot the names of the yeah. people and, um, in the In fact, you know what happened? All these people we met during our this reunion, alumni oh. Ruby reunion. Okay. They had come here. Okay. In fact, the DVD which I had given them, okay. it gives a lot of information. Okay. All the gurus were there. Okay. We One gave samanam to th- all th- the gurus. 2007? 2007, yes. Okay. It, that DVD is very complete by itself actually. Okay. Because that was the only unique occasion when okay. we could we united all of them. Okay. We re, uh, we uh, gave our respects to all of them individually and okay. uh, severally. Yes. And it was a great occasion for all of us. Okay, I missed that. Yeah. 2007. Then we had one Ramakrishna also. Shiva Ramakrishna was there. Physics. Okay. Remember? Okay. Shiva Ramakrishna. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Physics. Yes. The After th- Professor Ramana. Ramana. Yeah. What, uh, B. V. Ramana. B. V. Ramana. Yeah. And then uh, Shiva Ramakrishna. Shiva Ramakrishna. But uh, so they are all. He the also had very thick uh, glasses. Very <laughs> but anyway. Uh, more more learning means more heavy in itself. Then comes. Do you, uh, I mean, did you uh, did you have a drawing? Mm. Srin, uh, beside Shearer, Doctor Shearer, mm. uh, Srinivasan and Padmanabhan, or they were not there. Probably they were planning to go to Germany in the yes. second year. In fact, uh, uh, the uh, uh, Doctor Shear was there from beginning to the end. He was there actually. Okay. Then uh, our uh, P. S. Srinivasan continued. Okay. Padmanabhan left. He okay. went to Germany. Okay, gotcha. Later we came to know that he's trying to settle down there itself. Yeah, that's right. Something like that. Yeah. So these three people were key persons for our knowledge on drawing, engineering drawing, lettering, okay. and the projection, projection geometry and all those things. Yes. So what actually happens is our system of uh, learning in the uh, lettering is so fine right. that we it didn't leave us actually. Yeah. Wherever yeah. we go, we write. Yeah. Instead of writing cursive writing, yeah. you make the it a 75 degree you angle. You used to ask why are you writing like this? You did not learn Italics. cursive writing. <laughs> cursive writing was there, but then we were completely converted into this yeah. distinct writing with 75 degrees angle and it was so perfect. And then handwriting also was very good. Yeah. Handwriting improved because of that. If you do <laughs> cursive writing, you may uh, do a lot of uh, hanky panky. So with, when you write exactly lettering, that's what we call yeah. lettering. Yeah. So, yeah. We, so our minds were set like that. So at the very early stage, yeah. our minds were completely set by these people yeah. Yeah. and molded us into what we are today. Yeah. Because yeah. we also see there is some order in life actually, <laughs> not a haphazard man actually. But you know, yes, IIT means IIT, that's all. Right. One thing I don't hmm. want to neglect is we had civil engineering drawing for three months or four months. I think that was very helpful yes. also. It was yeah. very, very helpful because yeah. everything, whatever they did I was... I mean, we, we have to buy flats uh, and everything for our <laughs> day-to-day life. It has become very helpful. It has become part of us, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Then K. Srinivasan and uh, Rajkumar, thermodynamics. Okay. We had thermodynamics was there. 
Okay. We had Raido mm. teach us okay. in the third year, mm -hmm. thermodynamics. Was it third year for us? Third year. Third year. So yeah. th third year only it started actually. Oh, right, right. Okay. Before that is only uh, we had uh, small introductions, but not much. Right, right, right. Then uh, Professor Narana Murthy, uh -huh. M. C. Gupta, G. V. N. Raido, Radha Krishnan, M. A. Parameshwaran, S. Sur. They are all mechanical people. Okay. I think we had a change of. Uh, professors at that time. Mm. Did you have uh, Velu Swami for theory of Yes, machines? yes, I am coming to that. Okay. I have got, got a long list here actually. This Narana Murthy, M. C. Gupta, Ayudu, Radha Krishna and Parameshwaran Sur, mechanical people. Okay. This Sur and other people I had a meeting even in Raurkala when I was working there. Okay. Because he was working okay. for Utpal, Utpal okay. missionary. Okay. And he was working there for their uh, material uh, conveying systems actually. Okay. And Parameshwaran I used to meet here whenever he was here actually. So, and uh, Parameshwaran's, uh, I think, Nevu is also my classmate. Okay. Like that, not somewhere else. Okay. Then, uh, uh, what we had? We had one uh, vibrations teacher. Yes. What is his name? Uh, Rao, I think. No, Rao, B.V. Rao was there. Okay. B.V. Rao, he's called B.V. Rao actually. Okay. But then there was one German also was there who wrote a book. Oh, okay. Theory no. of vibrations. He had written in German. Okay. That book he gave us in German. <laughs> no, no, so no. So we had to pick up the. We form had only there. Rao. Oh. Uh, maybe it helped to mm -hmm. have Rao because language was a little better. So I, I'm in doubt whether his name was Schroeder or Kraus. These are the two names actually, which I. Just Kraus missed. is a very senior professor from he IIT. From IIT, he taught there. Yes. German professor yes. taught in IIT. Mm -hmm. Came and probably designed our curriculum. Things like that. The, his name is there in the opening. Yeah, yeah. Kraus oh, uh, is there yeah, at the beginning. Yeah. But I was in doubt whether it is a Schroeder or Kraus because this name I don't know. Then D. V. Reddy, Dr. D. V. Reddy. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. was in second year. Yeah. Dr. D. V. Reddy, D. V. Reddy was Then uh, uh, Vail Swami came uh, this thing also at that time <coughs> only. Vail Swami. The first year it was not very intensive because we are all just getting into the line actually, getting okay. into the habit of IIT actually, first year. First year, more bias was on physics, chemistry, maths, and all kinds of fundamentals, actually. Second year, we got into a little more applied variety. So, uh, Dr. D.B. Uh, Reddy, Reddy was mm. there in second year. Yes. I think, you know, it, it, the reason I'm saying that is, mm. I think the way you used to do those diagrams, you know, the load, <laughs> the stress, and everything, that was perfect. You know, he had learned it. I don't know. He had studied in U.S. also. He had a very nice presentation and also he had a very humorous way of, uh, you know, once in a while breaking uh, I remember one of cracking anecdotes. jokes. The anecdote is, straight is the path of duty, curved is the line of beauty. Okay. So this who can forget this? Yeah, right. That was and he, used he, asked, to, he used to repeat again with colorful chalk pieces, with a straight yeah. line, big, uh, all these T-squares, yeah. S-squares and very whatnot. Nice. He used very, to come with the whole lot Very inspirational very professor, nice. one of the And he never used to get angry. Yes. We had some of those boys who were always taunting actually, but he was always happy with them. He also yeah. used to give something back. Very, so, very mature. Very mature person. Very. Yeah. Now I understand uh, from uh, my, one of my friends in Florida yeah. that he is living in Florida. Okay. Dr. Reddy is still there okay. in Florida. Okay. So I would like to call him and Yes, no, but now retired. He's just uh, yeah. uh, taking him in life easy and then staying yeah. there. Then, and uh, the other professor who was a very nice professor. Uh, he's not in mechanical, but he's electrical engineering professor, Dr. V.G.K. Murthy. Yes, yes. Very nice. I'm person. coming to that. Very nice. I'm person. coming to that. M.A. Velu Swami, Applied Mechanics of Theory Machines. Electrical, M. Venkatra, S. Sampath, V.G.K. Murthy, Achyutan, B. Ramaswami, M. Ramara. Okay. These are the people, uh, of course, there is a mixture of light electronics and heavy electronics right. and all that. But I mean, we I had electronics in the final year, if I am not mistaken. Electronics. Or either fourth year fourth or final year. It was in the fourth, fourth year. Fifth year, they fourth. were specializing on that. Fourth yeah. year. But those the subjects were also like that. But diode, pentode and... Uh, uh, diode and pentode. Uh, and transistor. Yeah. Transistor. Uh, little, bit. Transistor. Little, little bit. Little bit. Tubes. <laughs> little little <laughs> bit. Tubes. No, but he, uh, he used to talk about it. Uh, mm. In the hostel days, mm. he used to give a, you know, the technology and future talk in, in the hostel days. Transistors were getting somebody, developed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Bell Depot, Bell Company yeah, was I developed worked in that Bell Labs yeah. in, uh, later so then on. Then only we were getting into the NPN, PNP. Right. Let me tell you how we get into the PNP and NPN. Okay. Japan already had it. Okay. Myself and my friend uh, Vijay Kumar, my classmate, okay. we were uh, hobbies, 
hobbies of transistor radio sir oh, okay you're okay. playing with uh, the crystal radios and all that without okay. any power just you hear it actually okay then later on we found out on amplifier a push pull okay. amplifier class b push pull amplifier okay. for those uh, the components were required okay. we used to go to moon market get all those components we used to get circuit diagram assemble them here sitting here wow. then we used to increase the volume Very nice. otherwise you had to blue to this thing this head for small military type head right, right. otherwise now so like that uh, this came into picture 1962 uh, 63 that time okay transistors came in japan was already developed because they were dumping it to india actually and here uh, this no, no, you are no, learning no, about I think it. Uh, professor sampath mm. probably kept in touch with the literature mm. from or publications from us he had studied in brooklyn polytechnic mm. or something mm. uh, and then uh, he you know he used to read some papers mm. and he used to just to talk about them that's all and the other professor was uh, we had one subject i don't know soil mechanics by shankaran shankaran victor okay i don't yes remember. yes i got them here then uh, let me uh, go according to this yes vaidyanandan vaidyanandan workshop technology yes, yes. for us workshop yeah, you know, cutting he, machine cutting yeah, tools that was final year uh, final year final year finally i think the one year or before, was it in fourth year fourth year okay because they had, they had a little advanced also yeah vaidyanandan workshop yeah. technology yeah. we had that heavy chapman book was there yes Remember? yes Yes, the volume three. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Book. Very nice book, yeah, and then we nice. used to be, and then we uh, used to follow that actually. Yeah. Actually, last year the final year for us was fifty uh, percent was taken away by some workshop, I means some projects outside. Yeah, that was the we second. We had to go to industry. Second half of the uh, second half of the. We had to do the project actually, right. and we had to hurry it up also because of this uh, completion <laughs> of the exam. <laughs> we normal five months one was finished in three months actually. Yeah. So we could do it. Yeah. So yeah. uh, we had a I had a project uh, friend called Tanhuna who came from Assam. Oh, he is our batch. Your batch? Yes, he is the he is the soccer goalie okay, for us. Okay. Nice a very very nice he person. He was my very batch nice person. Actually. We used to go to Assam buy all the yard gindi yeah. and then yeah. do this project. Now Amses engineers. There is a yeah. place called Amses engineers. Yeah. And then uh, uh, he used to give us the project, Mr. Kurian. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, he did the Arbor Press was the project. So okay. from the beginning to the end calculations etc we did for him wow that's wonderful mm. see i had it in binni engineering mm. uh, i think somewhere it was either in pallavaram or somewhere along that mm -hmm. train line so it was a sugar cane machinery okay. they were uh, you know they were Harvesting. doing things in lathe mm. then milling machine and all that mm. drilling mm -hmm. everything so they had a good job shop okay that was the project okay. they, Anyway, this was limited to only Arbor Press because they did the factory was making presses actually, okay. jig presses and all those things, okay. and that was very specialization. We shouldn't disturb them because very okay. precision. Those days they didn't have CNC machines. Yes, yes. To make exact holes. Yes. yes. They had a different subject altogether. Later they had to make a very accurate holes. They used to have a jig boring machine yes. in air conditioning rooms and they like that. that. Now these wire cutting machines have come plenty, so yeah. they can easily cut to any shape you like. Yes. And then make a die and uh, punch according to that actually. Yeah. That was not possible those days. Then yeah. uh, Venkat Rao, Sampath, Vijay Kamurthy, Achyutan, Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy, I think you must be remembering. He's a slightly short and square. Yes. He, he used to taunt his more like like more computational mm. numerical analysis mm. computational algorithms small simple automatic ones. controls automatic controls mm. also industrial automatic controls industrial automatic laplace transforms and all yeah. those things we yeah. used to learn from him yeah yeah he, he was mm. unfortunately he was uh, people used to make fun of him no, but he was a very good professor i mean mm. he had returned from us just one or two years before that i wish i could uh, read the quo Okay. Automatic controls go again, yeah. but I am not able to make out a head or tail out of that. Okay. Because I forgot on this Laplace transform altogether completely. Okay. So now it's out of question. But I accept. Remember my guru and <laughs> give him <laughs> obeisance. Yeah. yeah. Then comes this Vaidhina uh, and uh, Wolfgang Schier, Prithviraj, turbo machines. Yeah, turbo machine. He was very good. As somebody said in the in the write up, mm. you know, even though you know he used to draw and mm. explain, even though he had a little. Difficulty with English. He used to repeat it a yes, yes, couple right. of times. The main points. Very so systematic way of very, teaching. Very nobody true. can beat him because yeah. he he gave us so many blueprints. Actually, I could yeah. bind them and make it so thick. You know, somebody. I think the he formula, a, the lectures, see, there, all that. The, the, there was a person by name Thomas Tharu. Hmm. He had written a tribute to him, hmm. and he had learnt turbo machine 
from one of the best uh, experts in Germany. Yes. So he was able to impart yes. that knowledge very nicely. That's right. Very nicely. Then uh, Heribert Heitland and K. Bhaskaran, these two people were in charge of the heat engines. Okay. They were in the workshop most of the time. Okay. Bhaskaran never took any class actually. Heitland was the German professor. Okay. Who was my guide for the shock tube project. There was a shock tube project actually which was very unique. Okay. The shock tube means that uh, there is a tube, long tube with one pressure, one side is pressure, another side is no pressure. You keep on increasing the pressure till the diaphragm ruptures. Okay. And the pressure wave goes forward. Okay. And in the wake of this pressure wave, okay. the temperature of the gas increases. Okay. The measurement of the temperature difference was the project. Okay. So that was a pilot project which we did successfully. Okay. See, we, maybe there was a change in professor. We, we had a professor Rajashekar Murthy. Yes. He was for steam engines and he was I, in charge I, I don't know. thermodynamics actually. Yeah, thermo he thermodynamics. Okay. I don't know. I, I, I always remember Raidu for thermodynamics. Raidu was of there course, and he went into course, Yeah, yes. yeah, right. Like yeah. Full time entity. Yeah. Uh, Carnot cycle. Yeah, no, Rajashekar Murthy was in charge of the he taught us about the boilers and the boilers, various yeah. types of boilers, steam, steam engines, boilers, steam, steam, engines. Yeah. Those steam turbines, like. I don't yes. know. But probably. Then uh, Shankaran and John Victor, civil engineering. Okay. Shankaran yes. was for soil mechanics. Soil mechanics. Uh, what was he, the other name? Yes, Shankaran. Uh, no, no, Shankaran. Yeah. What was the other name? John Victor, John David Victor David or something. Okay. Some long name was there. So I shortened it to John I Victor. I don't think we had. He's civil engineer. He uh, yeah. was also. Um, uh, the same uh, humanities, I mean, the sciences block right now, ground floor, they used to Maybe have all the machines. Did he have surveying by any chance? We, we didn't have. have. We didn't have any survey class, for you okay. also know. We don't have. Because yeah. they didn't have so many instruments, actually. Right, so right. right. And then, uh, the one thing I wanted to say was, hmm. I think the, you know, looking back, you see, I changed ma my major. I worked in Ashok Leland for three years, uh, two years. And one year, I had come back here for a diploma in industrial engineering for one year, 1966 to 67. And then went and worked in Larsen and Tubro. Then I went to US. I chose my major as operations research. Then worked in that field for about 10, 12 years and changed back to electrical engineering. I took a one year course offered in Bell Labs through uh, Stevens Institute of Technology in Electrical Engineering. Then I changed over to data communications, packet switching, uh, and network management, those kinds of things. So what became more significant for me was mathematics. And uh, Professor Srinivasan's emphasis on fundamentals, that was very, very important. He always used to uh, uh, emphasize definitions, how the basic things are derived, that, that portion became very important. And the other one was Professor V.G.K. Murthy did a very good job of giving fundamentals of electrical engineering in third year. Uh, this fourth year person who ever taught that electrical machines, somehow he was very good in his subject, but he didn't interact well with the class. Mm. So mm. there was a little bit of mm. friction mm. there in the class with him. I don't know whether he taught you or he had left IIT at that time. We uh, learned most of, of course. Uh, the electrical the, machines. No, machines, yeah. He was there till the end actually. He was there. Oh, okay. Because we even uh, gave him a send off. He was going away to Delhi actually. Oh, okay. okay. So we gave him a send off. Okay. So that is the last year. That's okay. uh, 1964 end. Okay. Of course, Professor Sampath was also very important because uh, he created a lot of enthusiasm for technology. Yes. Yeah. Then we had uh, this uh, uh, M.A. Rajapa, organic okay. chemistry, remember? Okay, he might, he might have been there for the second year. Uh, first year and second year. Second then year. Yes, Srinivasan, the kinetic theory of gases actually. Okay. Then one by, M, yeah. one by, one by three mv square. Yeah. <laughs> I remember the formula very, and yeah. the Brownian motions and all kinds yeah. of things. He made it so easy as if you are part of the particle yourself. Yeah, very nice. So no, that was the same. Oh, the other professor was mm -hmm. uh, professor. Uh, uh, you know, he became the. Uh, he became Shekhar a direct Chandra Shekhar yes. Swami. He became the Fluid director Dallas. later on. Yeah. Fluid mechanic. Fluid mechanic. He did a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. But I don't know whether the students were, uh, you know, up with him in the classes because he, he went into quite a bit of maths and engineering together. 
the Reynolds number and yeah. Cauchy Rayborn conditions were very difficult to get into the head actually. Yeah. Very and uh, Swami, uh, unless one is mathematically oriented, yeah. this fluid dynamics is a very highly mathematical. Highly fluid. mathematical. Yes. And Padayar did an excellent job in heat yes. transfer. Yes. Very mm. nice. Uh, Padayar also was very excellent, but he was a little quiet variety and very he had quiet. his own way of teaching. Yes. Then people, uh, some of them liked it, some of them so, made yeah, fun. Right. Mm. But then he was there till the end. Yes. We were hearing about him for till a very, very long time. Yes. He was having some problems with the yeah. uh, institute. Yeah. The one thing was, Amadachari said something mm. that the uh, the final gray, not final, the first class or the class with distinction, second class, these were arrived at by some kind of a waiting scheme mm -hmm. between the first year, second year, third year had a weightage of one and fourth year and fifth year had a weightage of two. By any chance did you hear that? No, I, I was not at all into the, that subject because I said as long as I am an IITN, good enough for me, I don't care. Because okay. the reason is this one. Uh, only place where I was, this, uh, yes I knew was, these tutorials. We used to have a large number of tutorials and then they used to remove the bad tutorials. Yes. Suppose I get too many C's, those yeah. C's were forgotten. And then okay. you only S's and A's are <coughs> remembered. That was the maximum I touched. Otherwise, I was uh, completely stuck to my studies in German. Nicholas Klein, I think we should not forget. Right. Second year, second, uh, second semester. Klein. Nicholas Klein uh, taught us so nicely this German language. Yes. That stood us in good stead till the end, even today. Yes. Uh, my children, all, all of us speak German also, very easily. Oh, okay. very because they were in German school in Austria. Okay. And uh, I was uh, right out and out, all these terms, whatever you have learnt here. Okay. They are That's all wonderful. in the drawings actually. They are all there. So people used to write there something and then write give a big English translation. Yeah. Why this thing is so easy to understand? Right. But if for Indian project requirements, they had to do that one. All yeah. blueprints and the SAPIs used to have yeah. that one. But then I had this uh, German very helpful to me throughout my life. And uh, I could even converse and then talk to them directly because they are having difficulty in expressing what is to be said about this word. What is the word for this? First of all, they don't know. They have got unique words for each and everything. Everything has got a different word. So, uh, like this, and they were very good friends also. They were very straightforward, that's all. We should not be misunderstanding those Germans actually. They are very straightforward to the point. And then you should not expect our, like like our lifelong friendship in India. <laughs> it's impossible there. And um, then also this, of course, Latin, we are, we, were not, we are not into Spanish and all those things. But I had to go to Spain also. And then there the Spanish was also very easy because the German the background was also very helpful for that because German, Latin and yeah, all these things they true. come together allied subjects actually. Now the reason I brought that up was, mm. see there were very good students in mm. our batch. Mm. So I, you know, the uh, I always tell Mahadevan mm. that uh, many people could have gotten the first prize. I, I don't know whether the waiting steam had anything to do with it because some of them were very good in the first few years. Mm. I was, uh, I was, I gradually picked up. So I think uh, from third year onwards, I was, did very well. So that is why I'm just, uh, you know. So the, this this uh, prize, this first prize, you know, this, this was given by Dr. Radha. Even the, even getting the message, first of all, I didn't know there was a prize like this, and then the the you know I was uh, I was in. Uh, Bangalore with Amudachari, we were working in HL. We joined the job about for a month ago in either in second half of April. We got the letter something like it's in June first week. So, uh, so that was a big surprise, pleasant surprise for me. I think got a letter from uh, uh, Professor uh, Mr. Natarajan. The marks were signed by Professor Sampath Kumaran. And uh, Natarajan wrote the letter saying that I got the first prize in mechanical engineering and also the president's gold medal. So that was a big, uh, big okay. morale booster for Your me. Your name is already there in the SIA building there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is yeah. a building there, you know, where we yeah. meet for the convocation and all that. Right, 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 right. I mean, uh, for the table, for the, I mean, sports, uh, sports auditorium. No, that is a big auditorium. We got big uh, for these. Uh, the convocations yeah. take place in the big hall there. Yes, 
Ah, yes, that's right. That's right, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Your okay. name is already yeah. there. I used yeah, to yeah, always yeah, say, yeah, Kalavali yeah. is here. Yeah, yeah, right, right. <laughs> but but uh, <coughs> you know, these two photographs, see, this both of them were taken by Hindu magazine. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any camera. My two of my uncles had come for this function. They didn't bring any camera or anything. So this was taken by the, the Hindu photographer mm -hmm. and the, he gave it as a, a compliment mm -hmm. after one or two weeks after that. And that is how I got it. This one they had framed, this is in the original frame. Mm -hmm. They gave it as an extra copy. Mm -hmm. Now I, I had given to the Heritage Center for them. No, very good. Yeah. No, in fact, uh, we had our uh, convocation on the 4th of March. Okay. 1965. Oh, okay. Yours was a. Uh, you had it in July. July. We had it in March. July, July 11th. Uh, or March 2, uh, 1965. Yes, July 11th mm. or something. That is a part of the Short Commission. Okay. This is Lionel Paul. Okay. Which one? This oh, one, the, this the, one, this the, one, this 1966. Yes, okay. This is Natarajan ALM. And this is. Uh, This was the first convocation, I'm sorry, this one. No, this was the first one. Because this in our uh, convocation, yeah. Dr. M.C. Chagla was the, <coughs> oh, the, Chagla. the president, he was presided. He okay. was Chagla. Okay, was the, okay. yeah, uh, this uh, one. He was actually the education minister for <coughs> the center at that time. Okay. Dr. M.C. Chagla is a well-known okay. uh, okay. liar actually. Okay. Now, the, the, I think you had asked whether we had any interaction with uh, Professor Alakrishnan after that. Uh, you know, he, he, he might have interacted with a lot of dignitaries and other things, mm -hmm. but uh, I, you know, I don't we know whether he mingled that. with students. Yes. Oh, <coughs> one thing I, I want to mention this. Uh, Natarajan, our registrar, had trained us in singing a, a, a Vedic mantra as uh, in the beginning of the convocation. I had sent that as an attachment yeah, that is and a, we mm -hmm. were, we, we all the graduates mm -hmm. sang that, the Sahana Bhavatu. Yes. Yeah, I don't know whether that was a tradition or it was done only no, because Dr. Radha that must have there. been done at this para the moment because there might not have been any singers from their side. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. the, 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 it was a deliberate planning mm -hmm. by Natarajan. Mm -hmm. He asked the, all the people who, were, who had come the previous mm -hmm. day mm -hmm. and come for training for that. Okay, uh, okay. He, he trained us, the, you know, made us repeat four or five okay, times. Okay. So it was a deliberate action. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I think maybe it was because Dr. Radhakrishnan was there. He is a great uh, scholar in Vedanta. So. So this was uh, the, <coughs> when we had the second convocation was okay. in, Oh yeah, one uh, second. Yeah. Uh, go back this to is this. One, this one. Okay. This, this second convocation. Yes, this second convocation. Okay. Okay. Yes. <coughs> mm. Yeah, check that. I think in the first one, hmm. this the chief minister of uh, or governor of Madras was there, Bimal Roy or somebody. Was he in that photo, the, the first one you showed? I couldn't see it at all hmm. because somebody asked whether was there a governor or somebody. <coughs> No, the uh, Maharaja of Mysore had come. Mm. Yes. But there is also a chief minister of Madras. I, I don't remember that. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Mm. This is gosh. We have a lot of photos. Yes, I think we should be able to log in and see some of these. Yes, things. yes, definitely. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Yeah, that, in that photo. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know whether I can see. I can see few of them. On the left, I don't know whether there is a chief minister uh, of uh, Tamil Nadu or Chen, uh, maybe it must be Madras at that. Yeah, I don't know who are all who are all these people. Would any one of them know? Yes, uh, After Sengupta, mm. who are the other two? The governor, one of them no, was the governor. Chamarajawadiya, Jai Chamarajawadiya. No, no, mm. that is 
That is uh, no, no. Mm. That is Mysore Maharaja. Yes. But about Madras governor and Madras uh -huh. uh, chief minister, mm. whether they, whether they were there, I don't know. That. Huh? They might have been the audience. No, no. Uh, on the dais, because uh -huh. chief minister of Madras, they would not sit in the dais. Mm. That's why. Okay. Yeah, this is on the other side. Yeah. Natarajan is here. Mm. Yes. yes. Okay. 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 Oh, I see German, a uh, I see a no, 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 I see Professor Sampath, hmm. uh, uh, German professors, yes. probably Narayanamurthy is also there somewhere. Okay, okay, thank you. <clears throat> I had attended one more uh, convocation, the fourth convocation, 67. Do you have 67 convocation by any chance? You know, they get, I got a prize for the diploma in the seven. Mm. Huh? Okay, I don't. He did it in 1966, 67. Maybe it was one year after you. Okay, okay. Ramani, yes. Ramani metrology. Yes. Uh, Ramani was metrologist. Uh, right, right, right. Uh, he came for this, you know? Yeah. And. Uh, he was also in charge of this same thing. He was in the aviation here. Yeah, okay. The flying club. He was also okay. in charge of that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the fourth uh, convocation. Uh, okay. Uh, <coughs> Raja Ji was there? Yes. Sixty six. Sixty four, sixty five, sixty six, sixty seven. Boy, my God, my I completely forgot that. <laughs> Raja Ji is a very he was the first governor general of India. And he was, the, of course, started Swatantra Party and all that. Okay, I, do you know who the gentleman was who got the gold medal that year? I don't know. That was Srinivasan. That right side was the Srinivasan. Yes, Srinivasan. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah right bottom. Oh, 65, 66 was Srinivasan. Hmm. But 67, I don't know who it was. Convocation was on 22nd, let me say. Okay. But okay. Uh, he got the award for that. <coughs> okay. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how I know, uh, he, d he, he did his uh, PhD in, uh, from Carnegie Mellon or something. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. yeah. He, he also changed branch from mechanical. He also worked in a uh, large tube bro. Then he changed it to... Uh, Operation research, mm. then he changed to marketing. Mm. He became a professor in Stanford, IIT. Mm. Oh, this was Siddhu, maybe. There was a person by name Siddhu. Mm. Maybe he is that. He is a, apparently, he went to Stanford University and married the daughter of the person who wrote the book on uh, either applied mechanics or something. Timoshenko Young, dear. Timoshenko Young. I think he married okay. doctor or something. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know. I don't know that. Oh, that is Ramaswamy. Professor Ramaswamy taught the fourth year uh, numerical analysis. Oh, this one, number Numer three from left. Number three yes, from yes, left. That seems to be yeah, Gupta. Yeah. Yeah. Which one? MC ah, Gupta. yes. Uh, that was the person who, uh, who wrote, uh, who taught uh, machine design, machine design yes. uh, for fourth year yes, for us. MC Gupta. MC Gupta. Mm -hmm. Thanks. That's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. I'm glad we have all of this. Okay. No, this is actually oath taking, actually, you know, the convocation. No? Oh, okay. So oath taking is going on, actually. Oh, he said okay. we will be sincere to the country, etc., etc. Okay. Huh? MC, the first one. First one on the left. Yeah, first one Standing. on the left. Mm. And the third one on the uh, Third one is B. Ramaswamy. Ramaswamy. Professor B. Ramaswamy. Electrical, electrical engineering. Electrical engineering. Yes. Uh, as he said, the numerical analysis yeah. plus control systems. Yes. <coughs> this, I think, uh, the person think, to the mic is uh, circular. It's Ramaswamy. exciting to see so? some of the... See, one, two, people. three, four, five. Five may be Satya I think, I guess. Huh? Who? Satya Oh, physics okay. department. Okay. Okay. I guess. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'm sorry. I 
diverted some i, I don't oh, know whether there is anything <laughs> more that pictures uh, you do you have uh, things in your checklist which we haven't covered or maybe you have it do you, do you, uh, i'm sorry shaker has your list yeah K -k keep going now okay now uh, next one mm. <coughs> one more important person uh, yeah the workshop one more important uh, person whom i cannot forget in my life is uh, mr balu he was not actually an engineer or anything he is a uh, workshop man truly workshop man with maybe a diploma or something oh, okay he taught us how to work hard he never allowed anybody to go scot free oh, okay. he said you must work then we really got peeved and then uh, cheesed also okay he says what is this is going on asking and then many people got uh, really uh, worried but he molded them all into very hard working uh, citizens actually these are some of these models okay uh, yes which we made during that our workshop session and uh, they are all very accurately made at that time to point one plus minus point one accuracy all these dimensions yeah shaker and, uh, mm. i just want to say one thing mm. this looks like a very simple piece it was it it gave me a lot of lot of challenge to many people mm. because when you are filing the channel you had to do it at the right yes. angle you have to bend and do it correctly if you don't if you do it this way the one side will be uh, you would be unevenly mm. filed so this became this is really a tough one and not uh, a lot he used I'm to sorry. have a tri square yeah. which he used to keep it like that yeah, on yeah. top of it yeah and see the light passing through that yes. and light should be same here here everywhere yeah this That's was the right. toughest job actually because while filing we may completely miss <coughs> they may get a curve like this or a gap like that but he used to be so perfect and he used to do it also himself and show it how it can be done then we learned a lot of things from him on the practical side so now we can do any job with our own hands so that kind of experience i don't think uh, the present day boys are getting the present day boys are mostly concentrating on the computers and software and learning it in the different <coughs> style so i don't think there is much of um, physical output from the sir in the first year because in the first year you are straight away going into this areas of specialization they are asking for the specialization and they guess taking it if they don't get that they don't even join iit but we were not like that we were uh, having only five branches and these five branches we had to select one not only that in the first year we apply for a particular branch but they may end up with another branch for example you ask for mechanical and the mechanical suppose your workshop is bad and your engineering drawing is bad and other subjects are also equally bad then you are not given that subject you are given some other compatible subject like metallurgy okay it requires more cerebral activity so we used to have a lot of fights also some people say i want mechanical i'll do anything to that you surrender your mechanical to me this kind of hanky panky also was going on at that stage it was really funny and uh, some people used to um, bring their wares from their own because they were businessmen so they used to bring their equipment uh, to our people and then uh, want to show off <laughs> yes we have got this we have got that and uh, we had a friend called mahesh and he is actually the tvs uh, now uh, no actually he was one of the uh, this offsprings of the tv sundaramayangar and uh, he used to bring his go kart here on the road he used to drive it all the way from his tvs workshop uh, to the uh, iit madras and show it off and then he used to drive it of course it is completely open go kart then we had another friend basu jan vetath he is a very good uh, mechanical engineer he also got i think the award for the best mechanical engineer for that year 1965 Uh, and uh, he used to have his triumph motorbike which was in, left out by the military of those days he used to drive very fast and he broke his bones in adayar junction <laughs> adayar junction we came to know he is in the hospital that why he should be in the hospital he knocked somebody and then he had such a severe accident he was in the hospital for nearly 3 4 weeks and that must have taught him a good lesson so like this people are trying to show off and getting into problems those days the traffic was not so much like today we had no divider on this sardar patel road believe it or not in the second year or third year i think the queen elizabeth was passing from the governor's building to adayar to the i think theosophical society most probably and she was going in an open car sitting on the back of the car you know, open limousine without the top on that and another 
the Duke of Edinburgh also sitting next to her. And they were going with entourage and then uh, all military support in an open car. Can you think of an MLA nowadays riding without a police protection and then a shut car? That is the condition. So those days we had uh, very beautiful roads and the roads were not crowded like what it is today. And uh, generally uh, life was also very comfortable. It means we didn't have so much of pressure like the present day boys. We used, we had a very holistic life. When we had a work at the same time learning also and we also had outlets for our physical activities and whatever activities used to take. Present day, the generation people, they don't have so many outlets. So that's why they don't know what to do. And they get into so many areas which they are not supposed to. IIT is not meant for catering to all kinds of uh, people. Uh, what happens outside the IIT is not IIT's business. But still they try to bring a chip of that into the IIT and create problems here, which I Shaker, strongly object. Shaker. I think uh, we should uh, yeah. concentrate on some of the things you brought. Mm. But tell me how long did it take? I, I, some of, I remember this took, probably this project itself took three months. This project, yeah. Actually, first of all, you have to start with the base plate. Yeah. Then after the base plate, you they, they, you're given a, one round piece of rebar. Yeah, the right. rebar is what you use in the building construction. And then you have to chip it. The chipping was the most difficult thing. You get, you get a chisel and a hammer and all that. You don't know how many times you have broken your yeah. uh, this thumb Finger. this side. And uh, once you, after you finish it to a particular size, you keep on flattening it, flattening it, flattening it. Then if you flatten it or flatten it, then you have to start with a new block. And that was the excuse, nothing else. Uh, but then uh, this really was a very important piece in life. <coughs> there is a lesson. And then this another piece is this uh, go of this thing. Yeah. This uh, matching pieces, is circle, radius inside circle, outside circle. They have to be also accurately made. And this was a no-go and go gauge which is used in the industry for checking the bows and the, and the uh, shafts. And this was the, one of the earliest models where you had to learn how to make it flat, such a big area, making flat with your own hands and a smooth file is very, very tough job. Very but tough. still you can do it, it is not impossible. I, I did mean, all these things completely yeah, electroplated yeah. because I wanted yeah. to preserve it for a long duration. Actually. Yeah, yeah, right. Like Most, well, some people electroplated. And, and this is already having 1950, uh, 1960. I was going to be 61 actually now. Uh -huh. 49, I mean 39 yeah, plus yeah. another seven, 56 years. Yes. So I always spent good. 56 years with me. You yeah, kept it very well. Yes. Yeah. Really. Now many other people also did it. In fact, I got the idea from them only. In okay. fact, they, thanks to them also. Okay. They, I think they had kept it somewhere else. Okay. But I am displaying it on my uh, this thing, okay. cupboard very separate, so that all the people can see it. And uh, they okay. used to ask, "What is this? Where did you buy this one?" I said, "It is not for purchase. This is a piece which has been." They didn't believe it. My friends, they when they came and said, "What is this? Did you do that?" Yes, I, I did it. Okay. Anyway, that's it looks uh, like the uh, workshop. Uh, we had a lot uh, to learn on the, uh, I mean, what you call on the <coughs> personal front, and at the same time, uh, what you can do, it gives a lot of self confidence. When you do such things, you got a lot of confidence because there is nothing which is impossible. You should never say it is impossible. And because nowadays the people are very prone to saying it is impossible. Impossible, there is nothing there. So you keep on trying. So you see, but uh, there is, the, you know, the, see, the students who come to IIT, mm -hmm. some of them are not uh, very uh, attracted to doing me physical work. Yes. You know, and some of them were more intellectual, so they chose branches. Uh, you know, they might have started in mechanical engineering, but people moved on to other things. And you know, when somebody gets a master's mm. or PhD, very rarely they are asked to do anything in the shop. Most of the time, they are either designing new 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 components, designing new computer mm. systems, new algorithms think like that so it, they tend to be more theoretical so I, I think that's that's where uh, you know I was pushed in. even even doing systems engineering mm -hmm. I was doing systems engineering in uh, both in AT&T Bell Labs and Lucent and Bell Labs so the the systems engineering you can say you you, you you need basic engineering skills but in some cases you have to look into a lot of mathematical papers see particularly in the optical engineering trying to build a, you know they are called as um, wdm widely dense multiplexing systems 
they carry high bandwidth on single strand, two pieces of fiber. On two pieces of fiber, they can carry almost a terabit worth of capacity mm -hmm. by doing these systems. So when you do that, it is all, it's all sine, sine wave equations and, you know, all interference, how to reduce noise. These were the biggest challenges. Now, why would a mechanical engineer would have, have to go? But that, those are the kinds of transitions one had to make in careers. I've seen it happen to many other people. Because? So, you know, as you said, mm -hmm. the third, third uh, batch gold medalist, he went into marketing. Now, what drove him to that, I don't know. But he excelled in that. He discovered new, new, new areas in that. Uh, and, uh, there was the Very other, pro well, other well, your uh, classmate, mm. Chandy. Mm. He, he, he opened up new field mm. in uh, network reliability, network systems and other things. Yeah, he's got, got with his... Uh, I think he might have been electrical engineering yes. or something. Yeah. Electrical engineering. Yeah. So it happened. So I don't know, I can't mm. put down people who didn't have aptitude for doing mechanical work. I, can, I cannot blame them because that's how they... they Indeed, but uh, still <coughs> when it comes to engineering, you see, the person who is learning such software and brain work is not going to be confined only to that, but he has got a home to look after. It. Without home, 50% of the time he spends with his family and all those things. Even yeah, for a simple it is activity, nice. it is nice. It is nice. A maintenance man, actually, no. It is nice yeah. if, he, if he can so do that. So he has to learn what I'm saying. The life skills. We'll call them life skills because if he doesn't know life skills, then when he grows up into uh, say senior, because he can't be working for 80, isn't it? 75 and 80, he can't be working like that with same efficiency. At that time, he will feel lost. Then he will know doesn't know what to do. So this kind of situation will not come once you get some basic uh, systems into your. Uh, body, yeah, the I, mind I agree with it. You know, I say one can one need not excel in this, no, no, but no, you no. should have the patience Confidence. and the discipline yeah. to do it. I agree with Confidence. that. Because now today, if yeah. anybody says, how did you do that? I myself can't explain. Because now it is impossible to do that one, because that much strength is not left there. But then when they do it at the right time, it is not necessary that every time they have to keep on doing a cube or something. See, first three years, when I, uh, first two years when I was working in Ashokland in the machine shop, I had to, super, I, you know, 18 mm. months, we went to different departments, six months I had to supervise workers. Th those were fine. But I finally I discovered that was not my aptitude. Mm. See, that's, that's the whole thing. No, that's it's all. possible. In fact, you know, the people who are going to the United States, <coughs> they are shifting from engineering to medicine. Yeah. To different subjects also. But the yeah, opportunities are there, plenty of opportunities are They can do what they like. But here in India, uh, once you are an engineer, always an engineer. You cannot change to medicine because that getting yeah, into right. medicine itself is a hassle. So the opportunities are there plenty. You can do right. what you like. Right. I don't like it. I think it should come only after you have tried out all things and fail ultimately. No, no. But it's somebody who would uh, who, who would like to trace the evolution of engineering in IIT. Somebody has to account for this, right? I mean, <coughs> now I think they tolerate a different different molds of uh, engineers now, mm. right? Uh, I don't know how it is. I mean, people go for software. I don't know whether they will do these things. I don't Agreed. know. Agreed. No. Now what's happening is all the subjects which are there available at IIT, most of the subjects are software based. Because for even mechanical engineering also, the engineering drawing which we used to do with a paper and pencil right. is right. not there anymore. Right. Computer you do only with a monitor and do those things. But okay, that's good enough for that purpose. They may develop some new software also for a particular uh, uh, mission. But the problem is that is not going to be taking care of his physical body. For that reason only he has to go to a gym and do, do all those things. People who can't go to a gym, what will they do? So what I mean to say is as an individual you should not depend entirely, become a slave to the computers actually. Computer is necessary, he knows it is available there. Just like I know the word is available in the dictionary in case I don't know. I know the handbook is there, I know this is there, that is there. But then even the handbook itself is on the computer nowadays. <laughs> you don't have to even turn the pages straight away. But still, for yeah, the individual to be uh, useful to the society, you should <coughs> never come out with uh, some wrong ideas because it, it is not uh, software all the way. 
you know, See, not I think we should allow, you know, you know, great people like Einstein. I don't know whether he would have become a good engineer, but you know, he contributed a lot. It's the same. You know, on the other hand, if you take somebody like Edison, he he he, he would love to do things uh, with hand. He did it. In fact, that's why we are uh, reaping yeah. the, the yeah. research work today. Yeah. Otherwise, you would yeah. never get this concept of this the incandescent lamp itself would not have been there. He did a lot of research. He also suffered because of that. He became deaf because of that also. Not because of some explosions in the fact in the life in his uh, laboratory. So yeah, I suffered. think Adi, I can accept that mm -hmm. the German point of view, mm -hmm. uh, they, they wanted to emphasize this physical work. They sh one should shy away yes. from doing something physical. Yeah, but yes, I'm yes, not yes, sure yes. whether that's the way engineering is going. So like in Bell Labs, in the department, somebody may need to make a component. They will just give a sketch and there is a person in the machine shop who will do most of the things. Yeah, that is in a professional that, 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 uh, that, that, place. No, what you're saying is in a, in a factory where you're employed, yes, they've got to uh, clear cut jobs actually, division there. But then that is not the, what I'm saying is as a student, as a, uh, a person who is learning, once you are in the job, yes, what the company says is final. But once you are a student, you should get exposure to all kinds of uh, engineering, technology, etc., etc., apart from touching the keyboard and then watching the monitor and getting the, taking a printout or a 3D printout or whatever yeah, it is. Right, right. You may say that. But then still, uh, you should not uh, miss the point. Yeah. Because when you do certain things with your own hand, then you know what the problem is likely to be. Purely techni I mean, uh, on the monitor itself, it won't give anything. It, because the software tells you don't do any further because you are doing a mistake. Yeah. But that you should also understand why it is happening like that. Not by software alone, yeah. but really th th what he is thinking is impossible. Yeah. That kind of situation. He should make out his own mind also. Because ultimately software is made by a human being only. So naturally human beings should be more uh, aware of the uh, environment. Yeah. That's why if I, he should apply uh, his own brain and then learn it in his own style. I don't want him to go to fields to do that. But at least um, he has to learn certain practical things with his own hands, working with his own hands, that's what you call, not with his fingers alone. That's what I, I mean actually. Yeah, 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 right. Okay, now I think uh, we have taken quite some time for this. Yeah, discussing. how are we doing on time? No, that's fine. We, we don't have constraints there. <laughs> we can go ahead. No, no, I, you know, Mamata, do you remember any important things we so might have omitted? Environment reminded me yeah. about our campus. Is there anything you can tell us about? Uh, I know you have written a book on either birds or on trees. Uh, that uh, is not mine. Okay. Yes, you are right. There is a book. Okay. 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 I, I have the book on th trees. I am interested, you know, I, I saw the lake, nice lake about f maybe six, seven years ago. And, the, you know, some uh, student guide who took us, he showed us the, you know, beautiful birds which were there. Some rare bird he was showing. Uh, but I don't think in those days, you know, I used to take a walk in the woods in the 1830 year. Into, but, you know, once I came across a snake, then I stopped going alone into the woods by myself. It's not, I, I'm, a, I'm from farmer's family. I'm not averse to seeing uh, snakes in the field and all that. Only thing is I want to avoid it. Sometimes I'm thinking of something and walking. I might be just seeing right in front of me. That will become a little dangerous. Even uh, our own 1960 batch a colleague, Zakaria, oh, okay. he went by bike somewhere in the twilight time along the beaten track. Suddenly he found uh, a deer jump across him just from this end to that end and knocked him down. Then he came back and he had a big bandage on his head. What happened? <laughs> this happened because the deer suddenly attacked him. Though it may not be always on the ground and uh, monkeys and all kinds of things. Anything can happen here because there was no protection at that time. So we were living in such a beautiful sylvan uh, environment actually. Yeah. But then later these things developed and uh, yeah. because a number of people, the people started occupying the, because see for one person in the hostel, there will be at least some 10 persons outside to meet him. <laughs> so they had to come and go. Right. So yeah. this kind of ratio is there, no? Yes. So population gradually increased and all people had to shift here, their families had to shift here, the, the uh, suppliers had to shift here. Yeah. So like that support group is also very large here actually. Yeah. So beyond the, mm -hmm. beyond the fenced area, uh, hostels, there were no trees. 
uh, it was a red soil you know you know at least when they were all the you know the between the hostels also there were no trees between you know the, in the h shaped building or whatever you call it or building kaveri hostel uh, you know there was nothing in between and we used to have the ncc training right in the yes. in the space between the yes i mentioned it from taramani to the east coast road i mean old mahablipuram road nothing there actually you can straight no, no. away see the no, 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 the fence there, on right? this side between the uh, there was no between fence. the uh, you know the velacheri uh, velacheri uh, mm -hmm. i don't know whether our hostel was in velacheri i don't know uh, whether old is it part of considered as a part of velacheri no 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 taramani is a bit village you know when we when we used to come from the hostel after taramani there used to be a fence and there used to be a gate mm -hmm. and uh, and then we used to take a left turn which was uh, which was populated by banyan trees and we used to walk for uh, half a kilometer and then see the civil engineering building so yeah, that yeah then that yeah, banyan road is the old outpost hmm. yes uh, where i think the gate was yeah right and later right. on only only one was there near that uh, present uh, krishna hostel yes and that uh, there is a border is there hmm. now it has become a pakka gate actually yes earlier oh, okay. there was only a fence that some you could just walk out and come in because our uh, dobis and uh, other people used to be there only across this thing we had to go and physically hand it over to them right, right. and get it back to them in the evening sometimes they want to see a movie in the vijaya touring talkies there was the only way right. okay. so and then also that they want to go to tambaram or padapaya or something like that they had to walk down to the bus stand actually there that also was like that uh -huh. that for people going to gindi they, they used to go to gindi by bicycles Yeah, I, I have that done that. Road. So I've they go that. by that, and yes. then uh, park there, scoot there, because that road goes to Gindi Station actually, to via Gindi Police Outpost and all that. Uh, they used to get caught, of course. There is a different matter. No, so, you you to have night lights hmm. because in, in the night, if you travel without light, the policeman can Police give a cases. ticket. In fact, I time. was also one of the victims. Then okay. next day, I had to go to Saitapet Court, and then the judge said, "You please say yes, yes, you drove without bike. Right? I mean, without light. Yes, yes, sir." Okay, now this is the first time you are doing it. Don't do it next time. Like, But uh, one thing, though, no. I think is you, uh, you, you might have written, or somebody else might have written, saying that there were some uh, agricultural fields near the hostel. I, 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 I didn't, I don't remember seeing it. Maybe there was a small pond or something. I don't remember seeing anything bigger than that. In fact, this. Um, the old uh, mr ram shastri's house and they know there is a row of houses there just behind that house and this road which is the main road which is connecting gajendra circle to the hostel that was a big lake huge lake in the rainy season you can only see water there in fact oat also was oh oat water. is was so there were only big uh, lakes were there and then the lake slowly got dried up and then uh, and then became dry and then people started occupying it so they made it dry Earlier it used to be a huge lake actually. You can't just there was a huge bund also there. You can see water yes. like um, what do you, in Tamil they call airy. Yes. That airy was there actually. Well, actually, Professor Swami told us that once a boat was actually yes. from the gate to <laughs> up to there. Ah. Because they were, they were linked to the, the, the sea almost actually. Because they were all uh, ah. releasing into the sea actually. Ah. Uh, like that. You know, there this all, so many areas are there. You know, if you go by the old Mahapalipuram Road or ah. this uh, okay. Rajiv Gandhi Chala. You will see on the right side also there is water, left side there is sea already. So this kind of situation was existing here also, okay. but they were all slowly eliminated. Okay. Because right? land was reclaimed and then they had to build the houses actually. You know, it was a very nice time and then uh, uh, we had to be very careful when we go out because we don't know where reptiles are there and where monkeys are there. Where we never had wild animals, but only these kinds of uh, things were there. Monkeys were very friendly; they were never creating any problems actually. but i think they were creating problem for the birds that later i understood and our doctor used to say that the these monkeys used to go and snatch away the eggs or something in the bird the nests and they used to create problems so that's why the monkey population was brought down uh, but there is one thing this the present um, stadium what they are having there that was also a lake they been all uh, completely filled and then made into this thing that is hack building what you are saying that all that was high rise slightly high rise but then that rest rest is all only lake actually completely you just can't do anything you can't walk across just like that you can see from the bund you can see the lake was already there and the limit was only the other sea uh, the bay of bengal 
No, it is all like that. You just can't imagine what was actually. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, slowly, now in a way, all these people have occupied those lands actually. So now the water has receded. We had no water problems or anything like that. Electricity also, we had no specific problems over there. And uh, generally, our messes were very uh, well fed. Actually, there was no problem. The problems used to be only about the mess bill, nothing else. <laughs> that is called <laughs> mess bill. You know how much was the mess bill? 80 rupees for a vegetarian. Non vegetarian, maybe 100 bucks. But 80 rupees, we used to fight for 80 rupees. <laughs> so, that was the life. <laughs> and one Gopal Iyer was there. He remember, I remember very well. He was the first contractor for our Taramani hostel. He was a very good man. He was always a scared man, actually. What is he going to do? Who is going to complain? What? Nobody knows. So, he used to. But uh, the same mess, we used to have one vegetarian section and one non vegetarian section. We used to uh, just you know, mingle sometimes. So once in a while he wants an omelette, he go and fix it there, like that. Right. Otherwise, it was a very amiable. And there was a quadrangle in that area near the mess. We had uh, one boxing championship there. If you remember, have you seen it? There was a boxing championship where our friend Roger Sarathi, okay. who passed away recently, and I think he donated his body to uh, government or something, a hospital or something, after he died. He was the, um, uh, he's a good boxer. So he used to be there and we. Uh, route for him and then there used to be boating going on actually and many other functions also in the quadrangle was a little elevated so uh, like this we had a very lively <laughs> thing uh -huh. every day and uh, there was no big fight no uh, uh, state to state fight these kind of things were never there we were all totally friend friendly and uh, helping each other generally then what else this Gajendra circle was only in a very rudimentary form in 1960. No, no. This, uh, this, yes. this is uh, this looks uh, like a between the hostel. Yeah, hostel. between. This is a quadrangle, no? Yeah. Less than the either Kaveri or Krishna. This wow. seems to be uh, of those days. Later days, right? Uh, Later. Yeah. Very nice. If it is campus times period, it must be only this Roger Sarathis. You can check for the names. Roger Sarathi. No, Roger Sarathi, Roger has been added later. He is actually S. Sarathi. Sarathi. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, Sarathi. 1966 batch. Okay. Your your footballing days. You have told us about your soccer experience. Oh, you know, uh, it was uh, went to IIT meet in. Uh, uh, 1961 January or something. Uh, so, okay, I'm little 59. So when I was in third year, I, I don't know whether it's 60, 61. I think 61. Yeah, 61 or 62. 62. I'm sorry. It must be 62. There were at least four IITs at that time. So we we had a, a Bombay in Bombay. And, uh, you know, we played against IIT. We might have beaten one IIT, maybe Delhi, but uh, we lost the other two IITs. So we didn't any... But uh, there were some people who did well in athletics. Uh, Your father uh, is Jacob. Jacob Dominic was a good uh, athlete. Alim was a very good Alim athlete. Very good mm -hmm. athlete. Uh, now, there was... Uh, I don't know when... Uh, there was a tennis ch table tennis champion who joined sometime. Subarao. Subarao. Mm. I don't know when he joined. He joined the next batch. <coughs> next batch. 66 batch. And he and Gopalakrishnan used to team together and they won in the Bet Betram tournament in yes. Viola College. Mm. That was either in the 63 or something. So probably they won in the uh, IIT. Uh, Subarao and Gopalakrishnan used to be the. The part, this thing, players of real this thing. Other people are also there. 
But yeah. these two people used to represent IIT Madras right, right, right. Uh, in these uh, tournaments actually. Yeah. Go Gopal Krishna, Go, no, Gopi, Gopi, Gopi or something. Uh, Gopi. Uh, he, he, uh, he, you know, he changed from mechanical to aeronautics engineering. I think he did M, M in MIT aeronautics engineering. <coughs> This is later actually. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, this is definitely later because, but this, the code seems to be the same as before. Maybe one year later, we had Lionel Paul was there, Alim was also there, then uh, some other people also used to play regularly. Then we used to have some people who came and went, like you know, Anand Singh Bhava was there one, with Bhava Patris. And then uh, C. Krishna was there. Bhava Patris. Bhava Patris. He's one in uh, Delhi actually. Yes, yes. He's my friend and he's, he's, he was with us. Apparently he was first editor of campus. Yes. In fact, I sent uh, uh -huh. many of these issues, they came and then I sent to Heritage Center from somewhere. Okay. And he's in touch with me regularly. Right. Uh, only his grounds was that he could not become a member of the Alumni Association. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was the. And uh, we had also in the open air uh, theatre. We had a couple of interesting functions actually. One was Heinrich Lubke, the president of West Germany, he visited the campus and we had a big meeting there. When was it? That was uh, 62. Okay. 62, na? Okay, I'm sorry. Then I, uh, next one was there was a Moral Rearmament Association na? that came in a big way. There's, there's um, uh, Mahatma Gandhi's grandson. Okay. We had a movement like that, Moral MRA they call it. Okay. Oh, they brought a lot of foreigners, Indians, all all people stood, uh, stood on the podium. And then they each started voicing his, uh, how he became bad, how he turned into good. Oh, that kind wow. of thing. That was one a preaching session was there actually. Wow. So, they tried to convert many people, I mean, set the people in the proper way. They are not already bad actually, they are just students actually. So this MRA used to have their uh, one or two functions lab. Then comes our Hema Malini. Ah, dancer. Hema Malini, she was just picking up at that time. And she gave her first performance there, on the stage there. So far as IIT is concerned, because there was the only dancing performance before. We didn't have a camera at that time. Otherwise, I would have went on clicking and given it to you easily. <laughs> no, we they had nothing. As I, took, I would have brought the, my little camera also. I still preserve it actually. But then, you know, those days, we had no luxury. Once you took, uh, take a shot, that is finished. Then you have to go to the next film actually. That was the problem. And you can't make it too small also. And you can't expand. When you uh, enlarge it, it becomes uh, really absolutely, uh, you can't read anything out of that. That was the problem. So we were in a very bad situation. We had no telephones, first and foremost. We had no radio, we had no television, what not. All those things are there right now. So the people are really um, uh, spoiled, <laughs> I should say. The people are now spoiled. We were not spoiled. We are still fresh youngsters, ready to accept anything which comes. Believe it or not, one of my friends called Maji was there. He's an electrical, electrical engineer. Yes, yes, yes. He yes, developed the batch. first tape recorder. Okay. First tape recorder in the campus here. He okay. was in the electrical engineering department. He developed it. And then we used to go like a temple and then see his uh, recorder, how it's functioning and that. And uh, 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 some people used to help him to pull the tape this way, that way, see how sound is coming or not. It was in a very, uh, he was developing it himself. Of course, out of uh, knowledge only. He knew that Shaker, the tape recorder does exist. Huh? Shekhar, did you know whether he, he joined the faculty here? Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether he did M.Tech or something and then finally no, just I, no, was, was, see, was an the, instructor. No, after the, my, uh, 1965, I went into steel plant straight away. Oh, okay. After I went into steel plant, I was in uh, Raurkela steel plant for uh, 10 years actually. Wow. And then 10 years, I was always to the flat rolling mill. Flat means you, you produce some steel to flat product, thin products like cold roll, these very thin sheets actually. Then from there I went into a consultancy which took me completely abroad. So I was nearly for 25 years abroad actually. So um, I have come back now recently. Then I wanted to, uh, because friends are here, I used to come for some vacations here actually. Then slowly uh, got used to, otherwise I was completely cut out of IIT Madras activities. But then slowly I was keeping track, I used to see what was happening and who this. And our ghost, my friend, he used to contact me and send me information, the circulars. I am an avid internet operator. 
So anything anybody writes immediately, he gets a pat reply. Uh -huh. <laughs> he won't be waiting for me. Yeah, that's very good so, habit. Because Some people have that. I have seen many people receiving letters, they don't even reply whether they are existing Shekhar, or not. Existing. The, the point you made about steel mills mm. brought my... See, in uh, when we were graduating, there were few campus interviews. Yes. Tata yes. Steel had come. So somehow they asked some tough questions in the interview and somehow I, they sent me an appointment letter. But my uncle said, why do you want to go that far? <laughs> Same so thing. In your case like that. In my case what happened, as soon as I finished my this convocation, I became a senior technical assistant of IIT Madras. Okay. Doing the same shop tube project. I oh, was there till August actually. Oh, okay. By August, uh, my father said, what are you doing there? Uh -huh. Then, then he said, Raurikala steel plant, there is an uh, opening is there for graduate engineers, you should come there. So then I said, my father said yes. Because uh, then I went back, and then I attended the interview in Ranchi, Bihar. Then they absorbed me straight away into Raurikala steel plant as a graduate engineer. 10th August 1965 was the joining date there. I still remember it very vividly. And uh, from there it <coughs> went on actually. <coughs> Nearly, uh, so we were practically we were all steel plant men actually. Though I was metallurgy, me mechanical engineering here, I went into the field of metallurgy, uh, practical on the floor front. You, you said 65? 65. Six, 60 to 65. 1965. Oh, Second batch. 66. Yes, I know. Six, I 60 I joined. Then 65 we had to shut, shut shop here. Because 4th January, 4th March we had the convocation here. <laughs> you know, short service commission. Padmanabhan also was there. G. Padmanabhan of our batch. He had, he had gone there to military and then he, you know him that he is no more actually and uh, he was one of the persons who was in the short service commission. So like that many people were there in shorts because they wanted people uh, in the borders uh, for some technical help and all kinds of things. I was also there but I was rejected for many reasons. <laughs> I was very happy about that. So but then uh, this gave me an opportunity to join the steel plant. Then after that uh, they went into uh, uh, this thing the same line but then into the consultancy. So the you consultancy know, the metallurgy, yeah. you know. So metal mechanical engineers had only two subjects, two e two semesters, two uh, one full year or two full years, I don't know. Mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineering. Yeah. How many times you had metallurgy? Once or two, two years only or only once. Only once. Only once. How because that similar? was the introduction to us. Because that was not our core subject yeah. actually. But they covered steel very they well. Covered. In fact, they we, covered steel very well. These uh, eutectic uh, diagrams, yeah. eutectic and eutectoid, all uh, kinds of things. We know only yeah, from that those teacher. Those the steel they covered that very well. Professor Ramachandran used yeah, to teach us. Yeah, he, was very, e. he was very, very patient. Very patient. So they used to teach us. And we never forgot that. But then, this is nothing to do with that. I am not in the melting side. I am in the conversion side. Okay. You make an ingot. And right, then we right. heat it and then make it flat and then make it recoil <coughs> and re-roll it and that it, the technology is different actually. So in the, you are talking about the melting side. Yeah, right, right. Not only that, another constant problem with IITNC is they think that if I don't know that, I cannot join that company. It is not done like that. When you no. go to the field, they teach you what to do and yeah, then you right. learn it. You, yeah. All they require is an engineering degree yeah. and then some background for engineering knowledge yeah. and aptitude for that. Yeah. That's all they expect, nothing more than that. Yeah, in, uh, the point you make is, yeah. I think in, in our by somebody, Subramanya Rao, he went into some mines. mines Subramanya Rao was oh. my, oh. my oh. mate in IIT, oh, okay. in uh, Rosgala steel plant. Okay. Yeah, he was in the foundry. Okay. He was in the foundry, I was in the rolling mill actually. That's okay. not the difference. And then after some time he left. Okay. Then, he, then I think he went to um, uh, this place, uh, US or something like that, for higher studies. No, no, no. 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 Where did Subramanya Rao, no, he didn't come. Two years. Nice. Okay. Anyway, but he was not there. Yeah. He was in the fountain side. Yeah. But there is everywhere there is something to learn. Yeah. Steel plant is not a small place. The steel plant has graduated from simple ordinary contacts. Now these uh, pro PLCs, programmable logic controls. Now it has come to fuzzy logic also. So you will see earlier when there were 50,000 people required for a 1 million ton steel plant, now they require only 5,000 people. What happened to the 45,000 people? So all those people have been taken care of by the computers. They have got huge computers and the people also operate only with computer. Rolling mill, nobody goes near the um, machine itself except for putting the roll and taking out the roll. I think they, they see a similar impact mm -hmm. on the number of engineers because of AI, yes. artificial intelligence. So, so that's like going that, to be another no, shock. These people, you see, except the hardware is still there, but the hardware is centrally controlled from another location. It's switching on and off operations, maintenance and safety and all kinds of things are done centrally. 
central computers are processing computers are there they take care of it distributed controls are there so people have to operate it if they want to change over change out over even wireless controls everywhere it is a wireless control nobody goes no not much of wiring except for the power requirement for the motor everything else is completely electronics so there as i told you 50000 has become 5000 that's what they are doing in india also nowadays the private companies are making lot of profit because of the reduction in staff itself because they don't have to pay so much uh, salary actually that's why the private companies were uh, minting money actually but our central government the public under uh, public sector undertaking they can't do that they can't suddenly remove people so until they retire <laughs> and until they modernize so now the modernization is going on yeah that's good. so anyway so as i told you from mechanical i went into metallurgy and i learned many many things and i had an exposure to almost all the companies in the world who are uh, having anything to do with any project in libya egypt okay. venezuela okay. romania Wow. Germany okay. itself, and then to Venezuela, all these countries I had visited practically, and then I had to do some project or other there for two years, three years at a time, and they are mostly revamping of an old steel plant or putting up a new steel plant. Okay. From a small, small half a million ton to maybe five million tons. Okay. Okay. So okay. that was a quite a challenging job, and um, person to person contact, technological also, uh, and then selecting the right equipment, right specifications, all those things were part of our daily job actually. But then uh, I had to shut shop after some time. Said enough is enough, so we can't keep on doing it. Yeah, right. Sir, can you just tell some functions in OIT? You were telling him about when he was performing. It was what work is it? It was you know. No, it was just like that. It was nothing any specific occasion. Uh, see, it, uh, we used to have so many things like a movie is used to be there in that place. But then this was not any function. It was just only a dance performance. I think like a maybe for Kim my normally it was yeah. an arangetra actually. What they call it? Arangetra means. Um, getting onto the stage, maybe she was already known. She was, I think, fifteen and a half or something like that. At that, she was just only uh, that's not very old. The doctor, Miss Our Natarajan, used to uh, uh, chaffer on her and then take her here and there, everywhere like that. So that was that. And then the Lubke, she visited here, just wanted to see the plant actually, <laughs> not the plant. I said college. <laughs> I used to. Yeah, yes. this is a Lubke. Yes. Lubke. Okay. Lubke. I'm sorry. Oh, this Kamaraj is there. Yeah, Kamaraj, yeah. Chief Minister. Mm -hmm. He was he was the one who assigned the land to build the six hundred forty acres of land. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right, right. Wow, that's good. Then do you know that uh, yeah. Sundaram, Sundaram, I think. That oh, that is that Kuma in Kopir? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, next that, to yes, uh, next to Kamaraj. Yes, yes, that is Kopir. Oh, okay, wow, mm -hmm. all the okay. Mm -hmm. Who is uh, beyond? Uh, Lakshman Samudraya, the lady, and then the gentleman is he from? Ambassador, most probably here. Ambassador, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Or maybe a translator for Lakshman Samudraya. <laughs> okay, wow, okay, beautiful. Yeah, we see Kumar and Kabir actually. Okay. Now in one picture you saw that construction chief here. We had one Sundaram. Yeah. You know the no, the no, reason is picture. I think Mr. Oh, Kohl. Yeah. Okay. Next to uh, that, this picture, this picture, next to uh, yes, this is this one. Oh. He was the the main person for building all this. Why Whatever you are, huh? Ramaswamy. Yes, not Sundar Sir. Ram so Why he, is Ramaswamy? Uh, oh. So he was uh, responsible for all these construction activity here. Okay. See, I didn't know that Humayun Kabir mm. was so instrumental. For the start of IIT, and uh, you know, I learned it only two two years ago or something. No, actually, uh, they were planning to uh, help us. They were already helping uh, uh, Karakpur already, no? Right, right. But then they want to set up an independent and then uh, free from those glitches because the Americans were there in uh, Karakpur also. So they want to have an independent thing here. That's right. I remember uh, Professor Cox sometimes used to wear a booty or <laughs> something like that. He used to enjoy, uh, you know, uh, you know, learning about Hinduism and things like that. Professor Quietzen, mm. he was the uh, he was the machine design professor. He was a very compassionate person. Once he was, uh, for some reason. He, we went with him on a short ride 
on Sardar Patel Road. And we, he saw a, a old person, maybe very hungry, lying down on the side of the road and everything. He stopped the car and then went and asked us to go and find out what's, uh, whether we can help or something. But meanwhile, the policeman came and <laughs> took care of it. But he's very, very compassionate. Yeah, he's very person. compassionate. The people are very, very compassionate. Yeah, it's really amazing. <coughs> Have you seen the, all the photos which are in the uh, no, center? No, so far I couldn't. I'll I get think a he, can you can, can you send some good instructions again? So it, uh, I got it about a year. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Heritage center. There yeah. must be. Yeah. Yeah. They have almost. But the problem is we have not identified many pictures. Mm. So oh. we need help with that. No, right. if you want a name, yes. look, persons to be known, the name, etc., we can always help. Yes. To the, best, or to the extent we know. We See, I was making a mistake about Ramaswamy or Sundar, <laughs> like that. No, that is not a problem. I mean, Srinivasan, Mahadevan, Shekhar, you know, they, they At least, no, we remember our own batchmates, 150 of them we remember. Many right. people don't yes. even remember the names actually. But we know all the names. Whether they remember me, I don't bother about that. But at least we know, like, we moved like that. We are all, uh, as an NCC man, I used to know each and every person by his trait and what they used to do. So, Were uh, you a group leader or something? No, at the, in the last year, 1964, I was the under officer actually. Okay. So I had to do a lot of shouting. See, those days, you know, five platoons are standing at quite distance, means you have to shout here to command so that they move somewhere physically. So that kind of shouting was there as company sergeant major, CSM. Then you got uh, CQMS, company quarter, then there are titles, but CSM has got the biggest job of shouting there. So you had to shout and give the command and uh, give the salute to the boss and all kinds of things are there. Then in one of these, uh, uh, there was a March past year actually, the parade was there. <coughs> there was an NCC day I think. The NCC day I was the, I was given uh, this thing, a rolling trophy for the best platoon actually. Okay. One Kalyana Krishnan was here, no, your professor. Yes. Kalyana Krishnan was my, one of my uh, platoon, uh, in, I mean, uh, platoon, not platoon commander, he was in charge. I mean, he was also a, one of those, the 33 people actually in the group actually. So the, he knows, I don't know where he is right now. Kalyana Krishnan is there? He is here only, okay. So Kalyana Krishna knows me very, he was the computers I think, no? Yes. So uh, like this, I got a lot of people down below and they remember me as an under officer only, nothing else. So, <laughs> he was, uh, Rajamani used to be also my very close friend, Rajamani. Rajamani and I used to travel from Calcutta to Madras uh, by train, Howrah Mail. So we used to take the same compartment and then he used to make arrangement, we used to travel together. And uh, he's a very good friend, but unfortunately, I think the first year he has to miss some papers and oh. so he had to go back to the next batch. He, he went for the Republic Day Parade? Right? Yes, yes, he went. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was the, yeah. for NCC, oh, he was the only right. person available here. What, who knows what the subject is? Other people are only later on actually. We are all just, I knew because I was in the school, NCC and all kinds of things. Oh. Uh, like that, I came from there. Okay. And he was already there, so he could manage it, he knew how to do that. You know how to handle the subject. I think you, you almost know, answered the question you had. Mm -hmm. One of the questions uh, was about that gentleman. Yeah, Rajamani, yes. Yeah. Rajamani yeah. is a very close friend of mine. Yeah. We used to, till the last moment we had, and I know his background, history also. Uh, poor fellow, but anyway, we can't do anything. His life is like that. He's a very good friend. Individually, he's a very good friend. I don't know, many people may say many things about him. Can't help it. <laughs> I think his children are quite uh, grown up now and they are all their own actually. His son is I think is a teacher or something. His daughter is uh, somewhere up country in Punjab or something. Maybe, you say. And his wife is no more I think. Yes. He, had a, he had a company in Koyamadur uh, where he was doing retraining people for job. Simply passing out from the college is not sufficient. So he used to again put them so that uh, make them suitable for the job. Otherwise they become useless I think. So like that he had contacts with many big companies. They used to send their people for a kind of uh, orientation and then uh, give them the proper uh, this thing, attitude toward the job. Anyway, I'll, I don't know what happened to it ultimately. It was a different job altogether. <coughs> okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, have you left anything? This is saying, okay, these people are all there. And the Nawab of Patavdi was there on the sports ground that you already got the photo. Okay.
Thank you. So thank, thank you. you very much. Thank uh, you. I thank the IIT oh. Madras uh, for giving us the opportunity to speak so freely and <laughs> uninhibitedly and with all the facts and figures that we know of with my colleague uh, Tangavelu. Tangavelu not only he was a classmate, uh, we are friends in the IIT, now also we are friends, we are outside, we are, we are both of us are into scriptures and uh, spiritual activity and we find it very comfortable. The only thing is we meet once in a six months because he goes away to the uh, US very often. I stay put no, no, here. Actually, I stay there. I come here <laughs> for winter. <laughs> but he makes it a point to meet me in any case. Yeah, yeah. So, we all have a very comfortable life here. Yeah. Minds are peaceful. So, I think this is the type of peace which boys require here actually. But unfortunately, they are always worked up and then, and then getting into some trouble or other, which should not happen actually. Thank IIT you. is for teaching and for learning and nothing else. Yeah. That's all I could say. Thanks, Kumaran and Mamata and the uh, audio person, camera person for, uh, for all this. Mamata was very patient and she, <laughs> she was responsive. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Thank anyway. you.